you store this wonderful chapter in your book of memories. The 2017 homecoming theme is Game On. We predict an exciting and safe game will take place in this stadium tonight. The Red Bay Marching Band plays an important role in our homecoming celebration. The band, under the direction of Jonathan Hill, is ready to take to the field in position. Please do so now, band. They, of course, will provide the music for the Royal Path and all of our homecoming ceremonies. Be generous with your applause as we welcome the 2017 Homecoming Court. As they pass in review, feel free to admire, wave, and applaud. Let the motorcade begin. Let's keep the motorcade moving. Give them applause as they pass by. Like a reminder, everybody, you've got, of course, homecoming night here in Red Bay, Alabama. With the Red Bay Tigers getting ready to take on the Bobcats of Phil Campbell. We've got the homecoming court making their way around Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium, and they'll get across on the other side. And we'll bring all the beauties across this way with their escorts. Once again, we're live in Red Bay on WRMG Drivers, TV 12 and TV 97. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97 live in Red Bay at Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium. Keith Kennedy will be joining us in just a little bit along with Byron Helms for our broadcast here tonight of Red Bay Tiger football. We're going to take you back to homecoming night in Red Bay. Participants were greeted by an enthusiastic crowd all along the parade route. One of the most anticipated participants in the parade is always the Grand Marshal, Mr. Dexter Bostic, a 1953 graduate of Red Bay High School, was honored to be chosen the 2017 Grand Marshal. Our Grand Marshal lettered four years playing football for the Tigers, becoming co-captain his senior year. Not only is Dexter Bostic proud of his small town, hometown roots, he is a loyal American through and through. After having served in the United States Army, which included 17 months in Germany, 
He climbed the career ladder in the National Guard, reaching the position of Chief Warrant Officer. In 1994, he retired and returned home to Red Bay. In 2002, Carmen Dexter Bostic was inducted into the Franklin County Football Hall of Fame. To quote Dexter, we have truly been blessed to have had 23 wonderful years back in Red Bay. We love Red Bay. The we includes his wife of 65 years. Yes, you heard me, 65 years. Joe Clayton Bostic, also a graduate of Red Bay High School. By the way, and I think history will prove this to be true, behind most successful men is a sharp, perceptive, and encouraging wife. Dexter agrees that is certainly the case in the Bostic family. They are with us tonight along with two of their children, Retta and Diane. Dexter, Joe, and daughters, please stand. The Grand Marshal and his family are very deserving of our applause. At this time, I'm pleased to reveal the winners of the 2017 Homecoming Float Competition. Planning, building, and decorating a float is a creative and time-consuming endeavor. The 2017 winners are third place, the seniors. Their float entitled Operation. Second place, the eighth grade. Their float entitled Pac-Man. Well, first place, would you believe? I do because I saw that float and all of them coming down Main Street, Red Bay. Yes, you're right, the ninth grade. Our freshman and the name of that float, Candyland. Congratulations to the winners. A sincere thanks to all the sponsors, students, parents, and friends who helped in any capacity with a homecoming float. The Red Bay News will publish a thank you list of the individuals and businesses who assisted the students and the school staff in making our parade and homecoming festivities successful. We wish to welcome the Phil Campbell players, coaches, and fans. We also extend a Red Bay welcome to the officials for tonight's game. Please be assured that all of you, as well as our homecoming folk, our home folks, and all of our loyal Red Bay fans, are very important to the success of this event. We are especially pleased to continue the tradition of recognizing classes by dec decade. On homecoming night, there is a little problem that some alums seem to be shy about standing. As I have noted on previous homecoming, Sometimes the very students who were very seldom shy during their school days, and I should know, are now reluctant to stand. Now don't hesitate. Once a tiger, always a tiger, and proud of it. If you were a member of the class of 1957, please stand. 1967. 1977. <laughs> 1987. 1997. 2007. Thank you. You may be seated if you were standing. I did like the enthusiasm. Thank you. First to walk the royal path is 
Miss Elizabeth Markham. By vote of the football team, Elizabeth, a senior at Red Bay High School, has the honor of wearing the crown of the 2017 football queen. Elizabeth is the daughter of David and Linda Markham. She is the secretary of the senior class. She enjoys cheering for the Tigers and playing the piano. The football queen is escorted by Schuyler Brazel. He is the son of Staff Sergeant Matt and Kim Brazel. Schuyler was selected to the Class 2A All-Area Defense Team. He likes to travel and play the guitar. Elizabeth will be crowned by Autumn Higginbottom, the 2016 football queen. Autumn is the daughter of Runson Higginbottom and Angie Higginbottom. She is a student at Northwest Shoals Community College, majoring in nursing. We're pleased to have Autumn with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Join me in applauding our 2017 football queen, Miss Elizabeth Markham. We now present the homecoming maids and their escorts. Representing the seventh grade is Miss Cassidy Bree Aldridge. Cassidy is the daughter of Terry Lee and Emily Aldridge. She has been an officer of SAD. She likes to read and enjoys playing softball. Cassidy is escorted by Caden Keaton. Caden is also in the seventh grade. He is the son of Joey and Brandy Keaton. Caden is a real outdoorsman. He doesn't mind mowing the yard and he really enjoys fishing. Representing the eighth grade is Miss Chloe Noblock. Chloe is the daughter of Ryan and Renee Noblock. She is the Golden Glove pitcher for the varsity softball team. She enjoys playing softball and she likes to sing. Escorting Chloe tonight is Landon Glover. He is also in the eighth grade. Landon is the son of the late Heath Glover and Stephanie Glover. Landon is an officer in the SAD program. He enjoys hunting and fishing. Representing the freshman class is Miss Madison Hester. Madison is the daughter of Chris and Deanna Hester. She is an honor student. She enjoys cheerleading and playing basketball. Escorting Madison is Braden Ray. Braden is also a freshman. He is the son of Dr. Steve and Michelle Ray. He is a member of the varsity basketball team. He enjoys playing AAU basketball and participating in the youth activities at his church. Representing the sophomore class is Miss Haley Beth Aldridge. Haley is the daughter of Terry Lee and Emily Aldridge. She has twice been elected secretary of her class. She enjoys painting and playing softball. Haley is escorted by Braden Creekmore. Braden is also a sophomore. 
He is the son of Michael and Tiffany Creekmore. He was on the champion midget football team. He enjoys hunting and fishing. Representing the junior class is Miss Kara McNeil. Kara is the daughter of Shane and Jamie McNeil. She is a varsity cheerleader. Carrie enjoys gymnastics and reading. Kara is escorted by Colton Corum. Colton is also a junior. He is the son of David and Melanie Corum. Colton was selected for the all-county basketball team. He likes to play AAU ball and is active in the youth group at his church. Let us now welcome the young lady who will be crowned the 2017 Homecoming Princess, Miss Victoria Rodriguez. Victoria is a senior at Red Bay High School. She is the daughter of Michael and Tina Childers. She participated and played in the sweet, placed in the Sweetheart Pageant. She enjoys playing the piano and softball. Victoria is escorted by Dalton Self. Dalton is also a senior. He is the son of Amanda Robinson. He is the reporter for the FCCLA. He is involved in community service projects and Dalton enjoys cooking. Victoria will be crowned by Jordan McKinney. Jordan reigned as the 2016 Homecoming Queen. She is the daughter of Shannon and Amy McKinney. Jordan is a student at Southwest Memphis University, majoring in Associate Science. We're pleased to have Jordan with us tonight. Now walking the royal path, the 2017 homecoming queen, Miss Paige Hester. Paige is a senior at Red Bay High School. She is the daughter of Josh and Amanda Hester. Paige is the SGA senior class representative. She enjoys cheering for the Tigers and playing the violin. Escorting the queen is Bryson Wallace. Bryson is also a senior. He is the son of Ashley and Pamela Wallace. He is a member of the robotics team. He enjoys lifting weights and working on his car. The 2016 Queen will have the honor of crowning her successor. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Queen Page. Queen Page, Queen Elizabeth, Princess Victoria, and all members of the homecoming court have earned a prestigious place in the history of Red Bay School. Let us give the 2017 homecoming court a generous round of applause. Everyone, please stand and remain standing. After the prayer, led by Trey Daughtery, and he is a junior at Red Bay School, then members of the American Legion, Marion Self Post 120, will raise the flag. As the symbol of our nation moves skyward, give your undivided attention and respect to the stars and stripes and the singing of our national anthem by... Leslie Wright, Cody Madden, and Dr. Stephen Ray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day that you've given us and letting us, each and every one of us come out, Lord. Thank you for safe, the safe travels that you've given us. I pray that you watch over and care of these football players, Lord, that you will give them the ability that they need, Lord. Uh, keep them safe and give them the sportsmanship they need. Lord, just be with us. I pray that uh, anyone that does not know, uh, know you is our Savior, Lord, that they will see him before it's ever less than too late. Give us the safe travels back home, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Great job on the prayer this evening and also our national anthem. Of course, it is, of course, uh, homecoming night. We've had all the festivities before the game tonight. I'm Jack Ivey, along with Keith Kennedy. If you're out there joining us on our broadcast, really appreciate you for being with us here tonight. We got, of course, uh, Keith's going to be heading down to the sideline here in just a second. And, of course, we'll have all of our pregame festivities getting up to the game tonight. Of course, they're expecting, uh, or, of course, some of that wet stuff here tonight and uh, thankful that it did not rain on our homecoming festivities here. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, I'm Jack Ivey live. Keith Kennedy heading down sideline. And Byron Helms, we've got Denisa back at Control Center tonight. The Red Bay Tigers, once again, not in the playoffs, but uh, playing for a little pride for these last two old games tonight. And, of course, next Thursday night, Cherokee will be in town. Today's game, of course, is brought to you by Bay Tree Gift Company, your complete gift headquarters. Don't forget about the bridal and baby registry. They're located right next door to WRMG and also 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Belmont is at home tonight. Uh, it's their last regular season game. They'll be in the playoffs next Friday tonight. Belmont uh, taking on the ball club from Boonville and we don't know who for sure they're going to play, but uh, we'll be at that game next Friday night somewhere. And, of course, the Tishomingo County Braves playing their last game of the season. It's uh, senior night at Tish County. And, of course, we have the crew over there covering the Tish County Braves tonight, and they will be at home. So uh, Blake Long and uh, the whole crew will have all that under condition tonight. So, And, of course, Steve Bates and his crew down in Belmont tonight, and, of course, our crew here in Red Bay. Today's game brought to you by Albin Mason Construction Company. Also, Dr. Ralph Nick's family dentistry on our broadcast here tonight. 
Also want to thank Tiffin Motorhomes, Fastway Car Wash on Highway 19. Also want to thank Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Also today's game brought to you by Wicked Marinero, serving great pizza from our family to yours, made from scratch, cheese sticks and pizza, along with the five cheese ravioli, shrimp Alfredo, and much, much more. Also Predator Pest Control on our broadcast tonight. Of course, you got a Clay and Ted Weatherford there in 80 Deaton, Eddie's local number, 662-315-2841, over 20 years experience at Predator Pest Control. You'll be dealing with hometown folks when you deal with Predator. Also want to thank Redmond uh, Pharmacy out on the Golden Road. And of course, that's Mr. J.C. Weeks and his staff. Also your Edward Jones agent, Mr. Mike Jones. Uh, they've been ranked highest in investor satisfaction by J.D. Power & Associates. Find out why. Contact your financial advisor, Mike Jones, at 128 North Jackson Avenue, and that's in Russellville, 332-7924. Also want to thank our sponsors like Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering, 356-2300 on our broadcast tonight. Also Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Allen and Nash Harden and Miss Anita and all the staff at Harden Heating and Cooling, now in their third generations for over 45 years, 356-8913. Of course, they are your York Heating and Cooling dealer. Keith Kennedy is going to be heading out to center field with the team here in just a second. And uh, Keith, I, I didn't even see you out there for a second. I'm down here. You're da you got that jacket on. What are you doing with a jacket on? You're acting like it might be cold out there. In case it rains. Oh, just in case it rains. Captains for the Red Bay Tigers tonight. Uh, we'll tell you about them in just a minute. But first of all, we're going to take it out for the coin toss. Keith Kennedy with the officials. This is the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Let's listen in. All right, fellas. Y'all my captains tonight. Anybody gets out of line on your team, I want y'all to take care of it before we have to, all right? If you got a penalty, I'm going to yell for captain. I'm going to give you options. I'll give you best one first so we don't mess it up with the coaches. Something weird, I'll give you time to look at your coach. Yes, sir. All right. These guys are visitors. They're going to call it. I got a head. I got tails. What's it going to be? Heads. Heads, the man said. Tails it is. Y'all want to talk. Red Bay won the toss, Jack, and uh, we, we elected to receive. Okay, the Red Bay Tigers uh, will be receiving, and they'll be going left to right. They'll be heading toward the Red Bay uh, field house. So we're about ready to get this another way. We've got the teams that will be making their way out here in just a minute. Frank, uh, Allen, and Ash Harden have told you with them. What about Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, by B Diesel, Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized fre Freightline and RV dealer. Also, Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Residential and commercial installs, 662-279-6569. Also by Med Express, Kayla Humphreys and the staff, 356-8907. By Tri-State Insurance in Red Bay and Belmont. Of course, uh, you got old Kim Wells, Kayla Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Brenda's local number, 356-4804. Keith, I'm ready for a little Red Bay Tiger football tonight. And of course, uh, not in the playoffs. You missed that uh, tough loss last week. We'll talk about that in a minute, but right now, here come the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tiger football is a production of the Ivy Broadcasting Company. It comes your way each and every week during the season. Brought to you by many, many great sponsors. We're excited about having not only our great sponsors making this game possible, but you folks out there listening. We're not streaming video tonight. We're uh, just doing our audio, WRMGRadio.com. If you're in the Red Bay area, you can go to 93.97.9. Uh, uh, I don't know why I said 93. We're, we're actually broadcasting in the stands on 93.7. But, Keith, they can listen to us on 97.9, AM 1430, also TV 12. Go to WRMGRadio.com. That's WRMGRadio.com. Listen to the game live. All you do is click on the Red Bay Tiger link. Keith, I don't know where you had a chance to watch the game last night, but we played a very good team in Soldier last week. Yeah, they. Uh, I, I knew they were uh, a uh, senior lad in ball club, and uh, so uh, we. Uh, I was expecting a, probably they were the best team we, we played all year. Red Bay's going to have blue on tonight, top to bottom. Uh, gold helmets, I guess the white shirts, black pants for the ball club tonight from Phil Campbell, Alabama. Keith, uh, you've broadcast and helped broadcast and played in a lot of rivalry games uh, between Red Bay and Phil Campbell. I don't know how big a rivalry it is right this current minute, but I've seen it since I've been doing Red Bay Tiger football to be a pretty heated rivalry. That's it. They're just, they're just in the same county. It's, it's a pretty big rivalry. 
Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming. Our sponsor tonight, reach her on Facebook or at 256-668-0142. I also want to thank Sparks Contracting. Jamie Spark with over 20 years experience, 662-523-8588. And also Movie Mania out on the Golden Road. There's a short kick only going down to the 25-yard line. That is Colby King on the return. Colby's up to about the 35 to the 38. And that's where the Red Bay Tigers, Keith, will put it in play first and 10. And uh, Keith, we're still a little short-handed tonight, but uh, I'm on a, I understand that Max is not dressed tonight. I, that's right. Uh, he's got an injured knee, and uh, uh, I guess it happened sometime last week. So, what about uh, Engel? Actually got hurt, you know, late in that game. Uh, that we played here against Sheffield, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't see uh, Engel in either. So uh, I'm thinking I see Mr. Engel down here on the sideline as well. So uh, Engel, uh, of course, a big, big part of that running game as far as uh, blocking on that line. Coach was really saying how much you know he is uh, definitely going to be missed uh, not being in the ball game. We got an official timeout just for a second. We're just underway with the Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Looks like the old score clock. Was it working earlier? I don't even know. Uh, it's not working now. Or, is, or did it just go off? It just went off. It was on earlier. So uh, maybe we can tell them how to plug it up back in there. So uh, we're at Fred Bostick Junior Memorial Stadium. Uh, Keith, I know, uh, I know you're excited about some improvements around the football field here. Of course, a new track going to be built and some extra paving done to make it a little bit nicer around here you want to yeah. update the folks on that yeah we uh they're going to overlay the track and reline it and then the grass area that was between the stands and the track they're going to uh, uh they've removed it and going to pave it and then up around the field house uh uh they're going in the front of the field house but toward the baseball field they're going to uh make a player's parking lot up there and line it off and uh, they're going to pave it all the way over to they've taken the fence down and uh, going to pave it all over to the existing highway and then v it there so they can get the water out of there and won't be any grass and so that'll be a we'll have a nice place for our uh, players to park and it look organized and uh, it'll look good sounds good of course, we got a break in the action. They're trying to get the clock going here at Fred Bostick Junior Memorial Stadium. So they're holding it up. They may end up having to keep it uh, on the field. So we're about ready to get this another once again. The Red Bay Tigers game tonight brought to you by Movie Mania. That's Crystal Pearson, also Destiny and Emma McAllister. They're on the Golden Road in Red Bay. Don't forget new releases starting at 99 cents a night. Boy, that uh, wind is playing havoc to your uh, microphone down there tonight, Keith. Well, it's blowing and it's right out of the north and it's cool. And they got the clock back on, 11.53. Showing on the clock. I'm glad they got it because I like that clock. Kobe in the shotgun and is going to hand it off or is he going to pull it down? He's going to hand it off and no running room that time for the Red Bay Tigers. Aaron Louie on the run. Aaron may have lost about a, a foot. Well, they give, him a, they give him actually a really good spot at the 38-yard line, so it'll be no gain. Second down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. We'll appreciate BJ's hair necessities. Don't forget, now through November, perms are 10% off. Right now, it'll be a good time to save a lot of money there down at BJ's hair necessities. This time, we're going to Kobe King. Kobe trying to take that ball wide to the left and keep uh, a yard loss for the Tigers there. So we're going to look at second down and actually probably about a yard and a half loss. So it'll be yeah. second down, about 11 and a half to go. Make it third down. We're going to call it 12 for the first down. Yeah, they, there's, um, uh, they just, uh, uh, they're pretty familiar with what we're doing there, and uh, they're beating us to the line of scrimmage there, and uh, so uh, not much much happening there those first two plays. Tigers bring it up to the line of scrimmage. We got Kobe King and Mr. Rooker over here on the right side. Quarterback back to pass, looking downfield. He's got Kobe King out there. Kobe runs in under at the 30, at the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown. Red Bay Tigers. Boy, it's a beautiful pass there, Keith. Uh, yeah. In stride to Kobe King, and he took it to the house. That's a 65-yard pass. You like that, and so you brought us some good luck being back here. Here's that Red Bay Tiger marching band. Let's listen in. Clock's going off again. So the Tigers will try the extra point and Aiden Murray. 
Puts it up. And it is good. good. So the Red Bay Tigers lead it seven to nothing. Seven to nothing over the Phil Campbell Bobcats. Now, Keith, you've heard about the Bobcats. Uh, I'm, I'm told they're going to run it, uh, not run it, but pass it just about every play. So uh, that could lengthen the game a little bit tonight. But yeah. uh, uh, Tigers going to have their hands full uh, uh, yeah. covering this pass about every time. Yeah, we, uh, we were just in a two wide out that time in uh, the, the corner for – Phil Kimmel let our guy run right by him. And so uh, Mr. Bragwell just threw a, hit him right in stride. And and uh, telling you, um, not many young people playing high school football has got the arm strength that uh, Kobe's got. And he can he can make some passes that most high school quarterbacks can't. And uh, that gives you a big advantage. Of course, we're missing Skylar Brazel and also Max Bullen, a couple yeah, of the receivers. Two, two of our top receivers, yeah. And, uh, of course, keep in mind, these guys play more than just that receiver slot. They were called on to do many, many duties. And both those guys out, of course, Skylar, we lost him. as yeah. had that old broken bone in his arm. Yeah. He's on the sideline, but I promise you, he'd like to be out there. Tiger's going to be kicking off left to right, kicking toward the field house. There's a kick, not very long, but down to about the 15-yard line as it took a bounce to the 20, 25, trying to go to the 30, cuts it into the 30, up to the 33-yard line yeah. before the Red Bay Tigers. Keith, they're there to make the stop. Well, has McKinney got 56 back on tonight, or or somebody else? No, wait a minute. Uh, he's... I'm going to look and make sure he's got his five on because remember somebody else, Raper, switched Yeah, over. Mr. Cam's five tonight. Okay, he switched to five. So they, they called him Cam McKinney, uh, 56. Uh, I believe Levi Raper switched to 56 down at uh, Sullivan. He lost his, left his jersey, and they got right. movement on the line. Motion from on Phil Campbell. So they're going to step off five yards against uh, Phil Kimmel. Appreciate McKinney RV there and, and all the family there wants to wish the team good luck tonight. Serving Red Bay in the surrounding area for many years, it was McKinney RV. Also the Banner Tire Store, Mr. Jason Parker down on the Fairview Banner Road. 662-676-2177. They're going to hand it off over the right side. Tigers are there defensively to make yeah. the stop at about the 26-yard yeah, line. K Mr. Cam McKinney, number five. He he messed that up real quick for him. Tigers running in number 17, uh, Colin Humphreys. And number uh, 64, Dakota Vincent. So a big play here, second down and about 15 to go for the first down. They're gonna bring a receiver to the left side. That's uh, the Phil Campbell Bobcats with the football. This time another running play. They've kind of shot what I said about passing every down. Of course, I guess they thought Red Bay would be expecting to pass. They might try some a uh, run. So Dakota Vincent, number 64, made that tackle. Way to go, Dakota. Hello, baby. Third down at about 12 to go for the first down. Their quarterback is Peyton Thomas. Peyton's been playing quarterback for Phil Camel for, what, 12 years? Seems yeah, like. yeah. We've got across our front, we got Dakota uh, Vincent, 64. We've got uh, – 72, Ethan Meyer, we got 12, uh, uh, Mr. Nichols out here on the end. and uh, Quarterback back to pass, pressure being put on by McKinney. He uh, pulls that ball down and makes the turn up to about the 40 yard line. We'll yeah. see exactly where they place He's it. a little short. He's not gonna be uh, way, way, way short, but probably a couple of yards. Be fourth down and two. Tigers bring in a couple of new guys, 67 and 78 in the ball game. That's Andy Deaton Jr. into the ball game. And Devin Nichols uh, checking into the game for the Tigers. So it'll be punt formation time for Red Bay, or rather for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. We have a Red Bay Tigers seven to nothing lead. Nine minutes and 11 seconds to go in the first quarter. Here's the snap. Plenty of time, kicks it we off the side it. of the We got a hand on it. Who got that back there? Was that McKinney? That's 72, Ethan. Ethan Meyer? Uh, yeah. Number 78 was right in there also. That's... So the Tigers block it and going to get excellent field position. And Mr. Uh, Nichols, 78, was right there close too. And you know what? Uh, we're going to get the ball at their 44-yard line. First down and 10, already up 7 to nothing. 
Do me a favor, if you're out there joining us on a broadcast tonight, you can send us a text here at the game at 662-423-7602. Jack, that was like one of your punts. That was one yard. Oh, uh, how did you remember that? You don't know how big, how good a punter I was, do you? Tigers. Aaron Louie running the football down to about the 41, pick up of about two. It'll be second down and eight yards to go for the first down. Keith, we missed you last week. Me and Byron held the fort down in Sulgit. Well, I, I listened at you, and uh, I'm not going back anymore this year. They, uh, I've been to two games, and they lost both games in the last 10 seconds, so I must be a bad omen for them. And the Tigers are going to run it again. Not running room this time, maybe to the 40. We'll call it maybe a yard pickup. They give him a little forward progress now as he fell forward as that line moved. Aaron Louie running the football again. Third down and about seven to go for the first down. We're live tonight in Red Bay at Fred Bostick Junior Memorial Stadium. Jack Ivey, Keith Kennedy, Byron Holmes. We've got Denisa back at Control Center. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast. Tigers now under center. In the ball in formation right here. The Tigers going to hand it off left side. Aaron Lewis, the Tigers. Oh, he got, might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Pretty conservative there on third down at about seven. And looks like the Tigers may go for it on fourth down at about four. I thought we might do a little play action there and throw that football, but uh, Tigers elect to go to that bone and keep it on the ground. So the Tigers this time in the shotgun, and we're gonna pull it down for the quarterback, and he is gonna, I believe, have the first down down to about the 32-yard line. We'll see what kind of spot. They didn't give him as good a spot as this guy was going to initially over here. So they'll probably end up measuring that one, and Keith, uh, it was definitely where this guy was gonna spot it over here at first, and then he ran back toward the left, which would be shorter, and uh, it's going to be awful close. I'm not for sure if he made it. it uh, if he did, he not, didn't make it much. They're going to bring the chains in. Byron's done got us a good shot of it right there. When they stretch these chains out, it could be Red Bay first down or it could be Phil Campbell's first down and 10. And you know what? It's first down for the Phil Campbell Bobcats by an inch. So if you don't get a good spot, uh, it could give the other team the football and the Red Bay Tigers are going to turn it over on downs. So it'll be well, first down and 10. Today's game brought to you by Tiny Tigers Pre-K. That's Angeline Shambly, 18 months to four years old. State Pre-K class before and after school. Got a summer program open 5.30 to 5.30. Call Miss Angie there at 356-8736. 356-8736. Phil Camel trails seven to nothing to the Red Bay Tigers. They're going to do a little toss to the left. Guy cuts it back into the 35, 37 yard line. Yeah, they pick up maybe three or four yards on that. Yeah, one. as uh, as uh, Mr. Alex Kennedy on there, number 80, and on that tackle, and uh, uh, Mr. Ethan Meyer on that tackle, so. Andy Deaton Jr. checking into the game. Right. He's a five foot 10 senior, 230 pounder. Well, Keith, it's a second down and a seven yards to go. That last play picked up three, a little quick handoff of the fullback. Right. Tigers are there to yeah. stop him from maybe a yard. He pushes forward. Yeah. We'll see where they actually place this one. Yeah. We're live tonight on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Also on WRMGradio.com. Yeah, that's, um, is uh, 64, is that Levi? 64, let me double check, make sure we don't lie. That is Dakota Vincent. Daco uh, Dakota, is Levi? Uh, 56. 56, They moved yeah, him to 56 yeah. last week. I guess he kept that number. Okay. Quarterback gonna hand it off to the right side. He's got a first, first down, down over the 45. 
And they're going to place him at about the 46, first down and 10. So much for passing every down, Keith. Maybe they yeah, saw. Yeah, they, they, you've, they, they, somebody misinformed you. Well, you know, uh, coach said they passed about every down, but, uh, you know, they probably saw some of our games where we've been giving up. Uh, uh, they probably watched the Sheffield tape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, our, our they, 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 they've heard us a couple plays on some misdirection. That's the only thing they've – running right at us, they hadn't been real successful. First but. down and 10, we're going to hand it off to the right side, and he's going to try to string it out maybe for a yard or two before the Tigers are there to make the stop yeah. on the Phil Campbell side. Yeah, it's Mr. Jalen Benson over there, number 10, knocking him out of bounds. If it goes to raining, Jack, it might snow. Oh, it's not that cold. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's yeah. not that cold. You come down here and stand this north wind. It, I, it was like 60, 70 degrees at kickoff, wasn't it? I'm telling you. Second down at about a long eight. They're going to toss it to the left side, trying to get to the outside. Oh, baby, out of baby. Did you see Mr. number 11, Mr. King, come up there? Out of way you come over and make that tackle. Out of baby. He steadily improved uh, oh, yeah. on the defensive side and also offensive yeah, as well. He, he just uh, he just got to get a little little more aggressive uh, offensively running that ball, and he's going to be a fine fine little running back for us. It's going to be third down, and we'll call it six, Jack. They might throw it now. What do you think? Well, I would think they would. <laughs> They might get in that bone formation and run, too. Third down and five. They've had success running the football so far, so we'll see what they do right here. Yeah. Quarterback under center is Peyton Thomas. He's probably itching to throw that football. He's got one receiver to the right side. Got a guy in the slot. Here's he's going to roll it out to the right. He's looking, looking downfield. Nothing's there. Now he's going to pull it down and run it. He sees the first down marker, and he's going to have the first down inside the 45-yard line, maybe down to the 43. Let's say he said he marked out there. They're going to say he went out of bounds at the 45-yard line. You know that uh, we've kind of left it open after a pass for him to pull it down and go to the right side over there yeah. on another time. Where I, they got don't, I don't know. We're losing containment over there. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, uh, it's a couple times we've lost containment. Boy, it's a lot of noise coming from you down there. It's that wind blowing. I think it'll help if you'd pull that coat off. I think it's, we have got a flag on the field. Is that right? Uh, Let's see what it's all about. I see the official coming back here in the white hat. No, they ain't no, there's not a flag. No, they give them a, we're Red, not getting the benefit of these spots, I can tell you. Red Bay leads seven to nothing, 335 to go. This, I promise you this is not the same spot crew we had at Vernon. <laughs> I wish you could have seen that. And there's a snap, quick handoff on the right side of the line. I see Mr. Kennedy there on yeah. the play for the Red Bay Tigers. Yeah, is and, number 24 and, running it. Yeah, number five in there too, Mr. McKinney. Imer Ordinez running that football. Yeah. Today's game brought to you by CBNS Bank, Miss Mary Ellen Allen and the staff along with Red Bay Pharmacy, that's Bill, Donna, Weatherford, and Pam Moore out on the Golden Road, brand new. They're now open, waiting on your business. Come on by and see them. Check out their brand new store once again, Red Bay Pharmacy. Also, H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton by Franklin Electric and by Big Star. Another handoff in the Tigers. All right. Good play, Alex Kennedy there. Good play. He just grabbed him around the waist yeah. and pulled him down. All right. Good play, Alex. That was some good uh, – Showed some strength to do that, Keith. Yeah, it's third down seven. Good play. Red Bay Tiger football tonight brought to you by the city of Red Bay. And don't forget Dr. Jim Neighbors, just after the Neighbors Clinic. Also, big shout out to Mr. Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member. He's over in the, well, he was over in the Tiger Den earlier. Yeah. He made some coffee over. I wonder if I'm out of coffee. I don't know. I know I'm out of coffee. Third down and seven yards to go. Quarterback back to pass. He's got some running room to, to the right side again. He pulls it down. Nobody over there for the Tigers. And he's going to pick up another first down. And I'm telling you. No, no containment on that back side yeah, on the right side. That's two or three side. times we've let them get outside. Three over times. I'm counting. Uh, 
So another first down for Phil Campbell, number 64, They've checking back in. over there. Dakota Vincent. Checking out will be Mr. Scott. Red Bay leads seven to nothing. We're in the first quarter on homecoming night with a minute 58 to go. Founded in 1883, Modern Woodman offers financial services and member benefits to individuals and families throughout the U.S. For more information, call Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. Modern Woodman of America, touching lives. Fourth, fourth down in a foot or two here. Well, they, he is a little short. Let's see what to do right here. There and I, and now we got a timeout. So Phil Camel wants a timeout to talk it over. So with a timeout on the field, Red Bay leads seven nothing. We're live here tonight, brought to you by your hometown Piggly Wiggly in Belmont, Red Bay and Iuka, by Cash and Thermal Plastics, Chuck Barber and all the staff there, by Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food, also the Red Bay Gas and Water Department on our broadcast here tonight. Also on our broadcast here tonight is Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. Been in business now for over 50 years. Come see Buster and his staff for the best deal around. We'll save you thousands of dollars down in Fulton. 662-862-3711. Once again, Davis Ford. Also, Red Bee Rentals, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. 10 by 10 climate control storage with video surveillance. Uh, the locks are always on us. 256-668-0039. It's Red Bay Rentals with Johnny Weatherford. Also, consider the lilies. Don't forget some of the best pricing around on diffusers and oils. Come see us for all your floral and gift needs and essential oil needs. 356-8313. Over 100 years combined experience at Consider the Lilies. Big play here, Keith. Fourth down and uh, about a yard to go for the first down. Their quarterback is going to be under center. They're lined up in the eye formation with a receiver to the left, one in the slot to the right side. Tigers have got the box full. We'll see what to do here. The quarterback's going to pull it down, and he got some forward progress depending on the spot. He's probably going to have the first down. Keith, we had a chance to stop him behind the line, uh, but he was able to uh, get that first down. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh... First and 10, about 28-yard line, 29-yard line. Appreciate Gary Armstrong. It does all your dozer backhoe work. 256-810-4596. If you need dirt move, make sure you call Mr. Gary Armstrong. Also, that great tasting Carl Lewis sausage. Available out at Swamp John's. A little toss sweep to the right side. Number three, running the ball. Tiger's there to knock him down, but we missed the tackle. And he picks up an additional yard or two or three. He got it down close to the 30-yard line. Yeah, I said 28. It was the 34-yard line. So they're they're right right. They're on, they're between the 31 and 30-yard line there. So it's going to be second down seven. Phil Campbell bringing it up, third down and seven, handing that ball to the right side. Good running room inside the 25. They, down they to just about knocked us off the ball now, that's first down. Another first down for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. On a windy, chilly night, uh, of course, I believe it's about 70 down on the field. It's a <laughs> warm 72 in here where we're at, Keith. I bet. No wind. There's the handoff to the left side. Yeah, they're waiting on him that time. Actually, the quarterback ended up keeping that one. Yeah, Peyton that Thomas. Right. Mr. Meyer and Alex Kennedy on that tackle. It's going to be second down nine. Appreciate uh, Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum. I saw. Brent driving one of them trucks today in the parade. Hey, they, uh, you, you know, Miss Lori had her uh, gallbladder taken out last week. No, I did not. Yeah, sir. She okay? Yeah, she's doing better, I th understand. Well, that's awesome. Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry on our broadcast. You know, Dr. Ray was helping sing that national anthem, and Keith, I thought they was going to ask you, but it didn't happen. There's a All nice right, play defensively. 
That's, that's Alex Kennedy and Kobe Brygraw. That a baby. That a way to play. That's the loss back. Uh, they're back about the 24-yard line now. Very aggressive defensive play by the Red yeah, Bay Tigers. Lost about four yards, yeah. So it's going to be third down now and 12 to go for the first down. Let me give you the number for Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry, 256. 356-8899, located on the Golden Road. The business hours, eight to five. Been practicing since 1993. That is the end of the first quarter. It's the Red Bay Tigers leading seven to nothing. Seven to nothing is your score. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers on top. If you're out there joining us on the broadcast, we really appreciate you. And uh, we're gonna give them an update. We're gonna check uh, Belmont leading seven to nothing against Boonville. And now I just get an update. It's now seven to seven. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12. We have not got a uh, score yet from the uh, Tish County game. We'll be uh, updating them on this one here in just a minute. And once again, the Red Bay Tigers taking on the Phil Campbell Bobcats here in Red Bay, Alabama. Keith, uh, I think Gino sent me something. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, Florida State, well, let's see. I'm not going to tell you if it's bad, okay? Yeah, just. just. Uh, Florida State, nothing. Boston College, seven, eight minutes to go in the first quarter. That's early, so that's. Yeah. If it gets worse, uh, I won't tell you about it. But, uh, All right. Kurt, Kurt told me, to, I talked to him today, and uh, he's up there, and he said the ball will have to bounce their way for them to get out of there with a win. After one quarter. Down at Tishomingo County, and no score down there tonight. Well, Phil Campbell here with third down and about 12. They got three receivers to the right and one to the left. And the Tigers gonna have their hands full defensively, defensively out here. The quarterback back to pass. Thomas has got plenty of time. Now the pressure being put on. We got a chance to sack him, and we do. Yeah. Sack him all the way back to the 32 yard yeah, line. Yeah, Mr. Uh, that was uh, Mr. Logan uh, Scott and uh, and uh, 72 there, Mr. Ethan Myers. Way to go, guys. So it's uh, fourth down all the way back to, what are they home, Jack? 30. About the 32-yard line. Also, yeah. Devin Nichols yeah. in on that one there. Yeah. So They got to get down to the got to get down to the 13, so that's 19 yards. Appreciate Bunny Gray at Davis Realty on our broadcast, 256-460-8064. They're going for it. Fourth down at about 20. Quarterback back to pass, plenty of time this time. Long throw down the field. He's got a man wide open, touchdown. Number three, I don't know whose responsibility number three was, but we didn't have nobody on him. He's wide open and Peyton Thomas, a bullet right down the middle, Keith, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, yeah he's just, nobody covered him, nobody covered him. Appreciate Dickie Sparks CPA in Red Bay and over in Muscle Shoals, 356-9375, lots and lots of experience. Payroll processing, monthly bookkeeping, business or individuals, they do it all. And also a big shout out to Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, your good neighbor agent. Now writing insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office, located on Main Street, Red Bay, 356-4459. Extra point is up, and it is good. And that will make it 7-7, seven to seven. and I believe that was uh, Jake Winstead kicking that through for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. So we got a tie score, Keith, as the Red Bay Tigers this season winding down. Only one more game after tonight. That'll be next Thursday night. As you know, Cherokee is uh, a lot better team. So there's no no gimmies uh, on this schedule. And uh, you know, when you're struggling yourself and now uh, these teams coming in town, they're hungry, they're winning better. So it makes it even tougher. So that Cherokee game is going to be a tough one next week as well. And even though Phil Campbell's been struggling, uh, we know they're going to be a tough uh, task for the Red Bay Tigers here tonight. That's right. Uh, everybody's tough for us. Appreciate the Red Bay Hospital on our broadcast, Keith. I'm going to turn you down there while that wind's blowing. Uh, Red Bay Hospital, of course. Uh, Sherry Jolly there, your chief nursing officer and also the director of operations. Inpatient, outpatient, rehab, transitional care, outpatient, surgery clinic, therapy, lab, radiology services available, community education programs. They got her going on, including, you ready for this? Including uh, the folks over in the well care center. Corporate rates are available. You can uh, see Paula Farley or Courtney Watson there between eight and five to find out more information. A big shout out today to Joel Caroline and Jody Page at Page Clearing. We fumble the football all the way back to the eight yard line. Rooker will pick it up on the kickoff return, gets it back close to the 15 and the Tigers 
will take over first and 10 at that point. So Keith, uh, this will be our, what, third time with the ball today? That's it. We uh, mishandled that uh, kickoff and uh, we got it, made it back to the 15 yard line. Hopefully we're sounding good where you're at tonight. Denisa said last time I heard from her, we were sounding mighty, mighty good. Hopefully you're listening to our broadcast here tonight on WRMGradio.com. Maybe you're on 97.9 FM or AM 1430. Maybe you're listening to the AM on TV 12. We really appreciated it very, very, very much. Tigers in the shotgun, going to run it to the left side. That's Kobe King. Kobe to the 20, up to the 24, maybe the 25-yard line. And if he gets on the 25 mark, it'll be a first down. They're going to spot him just short. Boy, he just got tripped up there by a guy diving and tripping him up, or he could uh, still be running. We had it. Had a good play going there. Oh, Glenn and Twyla said we sounded good out seven pies tonight. Said, said it sounds good from his recliner. Second down and less than a yard. Quarterback's going to pull it down, and he no, is going to lose. He loses yards. Lose it a yard. Lose a half yard. Vanessa said we're still sounding good. Gene Thorne said we're sounding great on TV 12 down in Red Bay, Alabama. Roger Johnson out there said he's listening to 97.9 FM. Got a lot of wind noise on the field, Mike. Uh, of course, we know that, Roger. We, uh, of course, it's windy down there. Roger's wanting to know, or Roger don't understand that wind in a mic makes it noisy. We're gonna hand the ball off and lose more yardage as well. Roger, it is blowing like crazy down on the field. It's fourth down and three. Keith, kind of put that under your arm when you're not talking there and see if that'll make it quit. Maybe you could make your own windscreen. There you go. Well, I thought it helped. So we're going to have to punt it away. And Keith, we had fourth down, uh, or rather second down, and about a half a yard, and now we got fourth and a long three. There's the punt. Phil Campbell is going to let it roll. Good bounce for the Tigers. And Phil Campbell will have it first down and 10 on the 43-yard line. We're live in Red Bay tonight. Today's game brought to you by Triple D's Bucket Service. That's Barney Brandon and Dusty Dick. They'll meet all your high reach needs, whether you're trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, or maybe you're uh, needing to get that uh, steeple cleaned at your church and you got some members that's a little skittish about getting up there. Well, why don't you call Triple D's and let them do it. They're licensed, they're bonded, insured. 662-279-7500. Also, Page Clearing, I told you about them. What about the Red Bay Hospital? Mike Engel at Engel Farms. They're going to hand it off Phil Camel. They cut it back in up to the 45 and pick up a two. It'll be second down and eight. Uh, there's a uh, Mr. Uh, Logan Scott there. He turned it up and got a got a hand on him. And 64, Mr. Cotal Vincent finished him off. So pick up about one there. So we'll call it second and nine. Second down and the Red Bay Tigers trying to play some defense right here. To, we got an all tied up game. And there's a fumble on the play. It's loose about the 48 yard line. And we'll see who's on the football. They're uncovering them. It looks like Phil Camel is gonna still have it. They'll have third down and about five to go for the first down. Elizabeth Moore says we're sounding good on 97.9 in Red Bay. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. Don't forget, if you want to check out some other scores, you can go to our website, wrmgradio.com. If you want to check out Tish County, click on Tish County link. Click on Belmont or Red Bay. We've got them all on our website at wrmgradio.com. Third down and about five to go for the first down. Phil Camel on their own 48-yard line, 7-7 seven to seven the score, 7.53 to go in the second quarter. I imagine the quarterback will do something with it. Quarterback back to pass, looking right across the middle. He's wide open again, down to the 30 to the 28 yard line. Tigers come up to make the play, but Keith, he was wide open right there yeah, in the middle they, of the field. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we don't rush the we don't rush the quarterback. We just try to uh, when I say rush him, we are rushing him, but we just do it with four. We don't ever send any extra players and 
they're holding us off and the quarterback's got all day to throw it and uh, making some completions here on us. Appreciate the Cardinal driving on the Golden Road, 356-2358. Community Spirit Bank, Alpha Insurance of Red Bay, Dr. Fabiak in his staff at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. And by Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Marshall. The handoff right up the middle, down to about the 27-yard line. You got Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Brought to you by all these great sponsors, including these folks we've mentioned in here tonight, Bay Tree Gift Company. That's, of course, Lindsey, Jane, Lori, and the staff. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, right next to WRMG. Second down and eight to go for the first down. Yeah, that was that Cam McKinney and Alex Kennedy in on that last tackle, uh, just a play right up the middle, and uh, we uh, we got to him pretty good there. Belmont and Boonville playing down in Belmont tonight. Seven to seven game down there. Cardinals looking to move up in the playoff spot a little bit That's right now they're playing uh, gonna play a number yeah. they'll be the four seed uh, yeah. win tonight i think would give them a three seed yes yeah, logan scott number two making that tackle handoff pick up a little bit it'll be third down and five yeah they've completed about every third down they've attempted or maybe got it up to like maybe just fourth and a short so we've not been very good on third down so far tonight Appreciate Alvin Mason Construction Company on our broadcast tonight, 662-660-3355. Dr. Ralph Nix Family Dentistry located behind the post office. Don't forget their hours are, of course, Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 5, 38 to noon. And you can call them at 356-8641. Big play here for the Tiger defense. Phil Camel got third down and five inside the 25-yard line. They're going to do the quick handoff. The oh, Tigers yeah. are there to stop him. And no gain by the Bobcats, it'll be fourth down. Yeah, we was, was Alex Kennedy and uh, Mr. Cam McKinney there, it was just, they just ran right at us and we, we stopped them basically at the line of scrimmage. So it's it's fourth and five. Ball setting at the Red Bay Tiger 24 yard line. Today's game brought to you by Tiffin Motor Homes, featuring Allegro by Fastway Car Wash out on Highway 19. The Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont by Wicked Marinero. Of course, they got all the old Mr. J's recipes. Of course, they've been bringing those back to you. I know the folks are really enjoying that. Got a great family atmosphere for families can enjoy their dinner. Got some TVs doing what, some SEC games as well. And, of course, they got that uh, made-from-scratch cheese sticks as we got a timeout. Make sure you give them a call, Wicked Marinero in Red Bay, Alabama. Keith, I don't know. Um, I know you've been on the road a lot. I know a lot of folks are really excited about them. Opening up the old Mr. J's location under yeah. a new name, Wicked Marinero, and they have been staying covered absolutely up. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. That's something you don't complain about, right? That's it. We're going to check out our Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders down below, Byron. We'll get us some. Close-ups there before we go back to the field. There's your Red Bay Tiger 2017 cheerleaders. And actually that is going over into 2018. Do you realize that basketball season is here? I know yes, Belmont's sir. got a little jamboree tomorrow. Well, Saturday they play in like a couple of quarters against so. I think Belmont's gonna play uh, Chipolo and Columbus. All right. That's asking for a pretty good Pretty good test. Pretty good test. Yes, sir. Six A ball clubs, and right. we'll see. Uh, fourth, fourth and five. Here we go. Fourth down. I'm interested to see how the new coach is going to do it. Red Bay, Alabama, on the girls' All right. side. All right, here we go. Big play. They got two receivers left. Two to the right. Quarterback back to pass. This time, the pass over the middle. He's wide open again, and folks, uh, he's going to be down at the five yard line. I believe if he'd kept running and. He might have pushed our defensive guy on into the end zone for a yeah. touchdown, but he kind of slowed down. And Keith, I don't know what we got to do to get somebody to cover in the middle, but we've not had anybody covering in the middle. He threw it right down the middle. Yeah, that's, that's wide the, open. You know, you'd think we'd catch on to that. That's the third time he's done that, but uh, apparently we haven't. Live coverage tonight brought to you by Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum. 
They're now in their fourth year of business down in Belmont and under Belmont Pharmacy. Now they got the new location in Red Bay, Alabama, and they really do appreciate your business. Red Bay Pharmacy and Belmont Pharmacy. They're going to hand it off left side. Touchdown. He's into there untouched for the touchdown of the Phil Camel Bobcats. They've only won one ball game this year. They're one and seven. And they're taking on the Red Bay Tigers, who's won three. They're, and right they're now work, they're working o working us over pretty good right now. And uh, they've been working us over up front. Yeah, that's it. Hey, that, we didn't even touch him that time. He he went in. He went from the four yard line on a goal line defense and and walked into the end zone. Thirteen to seven is the score. They'll try their extra point right here. It's <laughs> good. And they look like a punt, but it's good. kick is up. Good. 14 to 13, Red Bay Tigers trail. Phil Campbell, we scored first, and it's right now 14 to seven, Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell, not a huge crowd that you would expect from Phil Campbell, but they're struggling this year. Only one, one game, but uh, the faithful is here. The band is here. They'll be performing at halftime tonight as well. And of course, you'll be able to listen to those uh, band members from Red Bay and Phil Campbell tonight, just thankful the rain has held off. I'm not for sure how far away the rain is or if we're going to get wet before the night's over. But right now, the game, of course, brought to you by your Edward Jones agent. And, of course, I'll get around to it someday. Hopefully, that's not your savings to retirement strategy. Edward Jones and financial advisor Mike Jones can help stop by his office at 128 North Jackson Avenue, Russellville. And you can give him a call at 256 Three three two seventy nine twenty four seventy nine twenty four, making sense of investing. Member S I P C. And uh, give Bates and them a update, and folks over in Iuka as well. So, Phil Campbell kicks off, and our return back to about the. 32 yard line. We got a player down there. We'll check and see. That's uh, Mr. Nichols. I think. No, it's Colin. Uh, Colin Offer, there, number 17. So hopefully Colin's going to be all right. Yeah, he's coming off. Elizabeth, I don't have the quick score. Last score I got was seven to seven. So if you want to check over there to wrmgradio.com, just click on that uh, Belmont link. You can listen to Steve there live, then switch back over to us. As a matter of fact, you can do that on your phone and listen to us on 97.9. He's live at uh, wrmgradio.com and where it says Belmont, click here, click on, click here, and you can listen to that one and us too. Seven to seven was the last score we got. There's a pass. It's overthrown, intended for Nichols up at the 35 yard line. Kobe King was the intended receiver. Yeah, he quit running. He thought he might get hit there, and he quit running. That's a good pass. If he had kept running, he'd have caught that. Red Bay Tigers trailing 14 to seven. Today's game brought to you by Swamp Johns. They got brand new hours Monday through Wednesday, five to one, Thursday, five to seven. Friday 5 to 8 and Saturday 5 to 8, located at the intersection of 24 and 247. We're looking at uh, second down 10. We're going to pull it down and run it with the number 11, Kobe King, up to the 39 yard line. We're going to be about uh, five yards away from the first down. Yeah, that was uh, just a run around our left end. We want to say much. We appreciate Franklin County probate judge Barry Moore on our broadcast. Also, Allen. And Nash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling, your York dealer by Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, Dr. Richter, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr by Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Med Express of Red Bay with Kayla Humphreys, and Tri-State Insurance. There's the snap. Quarterback's going to pull it down, and he is going to be short of the first down. Going to be pretty close. Let's see what kind of spot. He got a little bit better spot than I thought he was going to get, so depending on this spot, that he will have the first down. They hadn't even spotted it yet, and uh, they're already motioning first down. I'm glad they went ahead and done that. Second down is not going to be second. Guess what? It's going to be first down in 10. They got second across the way, but it is going to be first down for the Tigers. Kobe King split out to the right. We're under the center this time, handing off, and no running room that time for the Tigers. And that's Aaron Louie running the football. Uh, 
On our broadcast here tonight, Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming. I got some shirts I need to take to Kim right now. Been aiming to get them to her for a while, and uh, she's uh, get her get her some more WRMG shirts. Two five six 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 eight zero one four two. Kim Lindsay. Quarterback back to pass, going to bring that back to this left side to Rooker. Rooker 50 down to the 45. He's got a first down and more inside the 40, down to the 39-yard line. I like that one. Yes, sir. That's a little wide-out screen there. Keith, I'd like to – I know it's getting late in the season, but I'd like us to do more short stuff like that. You know, we're going along a lot, and, of course, uh, and we've been successful with that, but um, maybe – Try some underneath stuff like that right yeah. there, and then it might open up uh, for It's Luka. called using your talents, what it's called. Quarterback back to pass. There's another pass, and it is incomplete down at the 31. Rooker'd like to have that one back. Yeah, he was looking looking ahead, trying to run there, but uh, it's it's sort it's tough throwing into this north wing. That that ball was wobbling a little bit, and it's. Uh, well, I didn't really realize is that uh, it was windy. Yeah. It's, it's oh, it is windy. windy? Yeah. Enjoying the broadcast, Mr. Bobby McAlpin. And, oh, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Enjoying the broadcast. Yes, You're all doing a great job. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby sent that earlier, and I messed around and didn't even see it until just now. There's Aaron Louie to the right side. He falls forward to the 35-yard line. He's going to get right at five yards. Let's see, they may say his knee went down a little bit shorter there. We'll call it third down and six, as they don't give him but to the 36. We're down by a score of 14 to seven. The clock running with a minute and 54 seconds. This first half has went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Appreciate BJ's hair necessities along with Movie Mania, Sparks contracting Jamie Sparks over in Belmont. Quarterback pulling it down. He's got some running room with a 30, fumbles the football. And looks like I Phil Campbell. I think Phil Campbell's got it. Phil Campbell comes out of there with it. Kobe Bragwell fumbles. I thought he was gonna get back on it, but couldn't uh, secure it. And um, so the Tigers fumble the football and Phil Camel will take over. Appreciate uh, Sparks contracting. Let me give you Jamie's number, 662-523-8588. Guess what he does? He does uh, build new homes. He does remodeling. He does seamless gutters. He does siding, metal roofing, concrete work. Sparks contracting. Jamie's got over 20 years experience in the contracting business. Remember, one call does it all at Sparks Contracting. Also on our broadcast here today from WRMG is McKinney RV Sales and Service. There's a handoff. And not right, much running that's room line, there. That Cam McKinney. Now, buddy, that's the way you tackle right there. You, you, you come in there and you knock them backwards. We're down to a minute and 20-something seconds to go. We're live on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Don't forget McKinney RV along with the Banner Tire Store. Tiny Tigers Pre-K with Angeline Chamley. Uh, you got a big it's summer program. It's getting here, Jack. 356-8736. Dr. Jim Neighbors to staff at the Neighbors Clinic on our broadcast here tonight. Along with the city of Red Bay, we got a timeout. Big star of Red Bay by Franklin Electric. H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton by Redmond Pharmacy. By CBNS Bank. By Grace Long Real Estate on our broadcast here tonight. Also, Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent. Runny's number 662-423-8477. By Red Bay Gas and Water, by Sunshine Mills, Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member. By Chuck and Barbara Cashin at Cashin Thermoplastic. By your hometown Piggly Wiggly store in Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka. Also, Davis Ford on a broadcast down in Fulton. Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay. By Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. By that great tasting Carl Lewis Sausage. By Dr. Stephen Ray, Family Dentistry. 356 uh, 8899. I wasn't going to let you steal my pen. I got it. Th uh, look at it on the Golden Road. All right. Good play there. And a good defensive play there yeah. by the Tigers. That's number three there. Now Mr. Jay Pounds there. It's going to be third down in nine. So another timeout, and right now, with a minute and 24 seconds to go, it's 14 to 7. 14 to 7, our score. Of course, it's homecoming night. We did all the homecoming festivities before the game tonight. And, Keith, I was doubtful at one time if we were going to be able to get it in before the rain started. It started sprinkling a little bit, but uh, 
they held it off, didn't it? They have. It's it's sprinkling a little right now. Appreciate Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Laura at Brent Column, 356 2226. For all your catering needs, they can make your job a lot easier. So good food, reasonable prices every day at Fourth Street Grill. I also want to thank Gary Armstrong. It does all your dozer backhoe work. We can call him right now. 256 810 4596. Well, after the Tiger fumble, They've run a couple of plays, only picked up a yard. It's third down and nine to go for the first down. We're down to a minute and 21 seconds to go. Second quarter, Phil Campbell leads by a score of 14 to seven. They're gonna run that ball to the left after the fake and boy, good defensive play, the ball loose. And we got another uh, timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. That's a, that's a play, Mr. Tanner Nichols, number 12. Good play, buddy. Boy, that's a good play, Tanner. Yeah. Good play. He turned it in, made the tackle. Was that ball on the ground there for just a little bit? I couldn't tell. Was there any reason that my coffee should have got cold? Or yes, yes, yes. I was hoping, sure, they'd bring me some more coffee, but I hadn't seen anybody. Well, Miss uh, Miss Gay Train, we got the band down there. Let's get them just for a second, right quick. Not the band, but the cheerleaders. I didn't see them until a little late there, but there they are, your Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders working hard along with the band. Band will be performing along with Phil Campbell Band here at halftime. Miss Moore says we got a little group before the bands play. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, we'll find out here in a little bit. We got live coverage of Red Bay Tiger football tonight brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, that great tasting Carl Lewis sausage available at Swamp John's by Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. Looking to buy or sell a home? See your hometown agent, Miss Bunny Gray. There's the punt. What are we doing? And the Red Bay Tigers. Did we run into him back there what and get a flag? He just tackled him. I don't know. I ain't never seen that. What are you doing, son? We don't know, but uh, we all got a personal foul against the Red Bay Tigers, and that's gonna be an automatic first down. I'd have to go back and look at that one. Keith, I was looking downfield after I was talking about Bunny Gray at Davis Realty, and uh, the Tigers uh, was gonna get the football about midfield, and now with the personal foul roughing. Uh, I, 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 Jack, I've just never seen that before. He well, didn't really run, he just tackled him. He didn't even try blocking the punt. He just tackled him. <laughs> I don't understand that. It's called uh, not thinking at that particular moment. I guess he was thinking uh, maybe he's going to run the ball or something. I, that beats, that gets my goat there. I've never seen that before. Colin Humphrey's over here with a little ass pack or something over his eye there. Hopefully he's all right. First down and 10, they're going to kneel on it. They're yeah. going to be tickled to death to go to the dressing room leading 14 to seven. They don't want to make a mistake and uh, lose this lead. So once again, it's 14 for the red, uh, for Phil Campbell. Still Phil Campbell gets the ball start the second half right. too. Miss Sue Helms out there says, let's go Tigers. You and Keith sounding good tonight. And we're sorry about the uh, wind noise down there. But uh, we used to have a, a windscreen. Keith lost two of them. Jerry, you need to go back over where you lost at. I don't know where it was at. You lost one at Mars Hill. Got him another one, and guess what? He lost it. Hey, we'll go buy five of them for next year, okay? Once again, Jack Ivey, Keith Kennedy live along with Byron Helms. We are in Red Bay, Alabama. It is, of course, homecoming night. We had all the homecoming festivities before the game. And right now it's 14 to 7, 14 to 7. At halftime, 14 to seven at halftime, Phil Campbell leading the Red Bay Tigers. And the Tigers, um, a little in jeopardy tonight of, of losing another ball game. Let's listen in. Halftime entertainment begins. We have a special presentation on the field. Tomorrow, October 28th, the city of Red Bay will be hosting the first of its kind in the state of Alabama the first annual Olin Cunningham Youth Baseball Camp, conducted by current and former players of the Major League Baseball Alumni Association. The City of Red Bay welcomes Major League Baseball players Randy McGilberry, Dave Stapleton, 
Josh Willingham, Donovan Hand, and David Weathers to the city of Red Bay. The city of Red Bay also welcomes former football coach Olin Cunningham to tonight's homecoming festivities. Representing Kay Ivey, we are honored to welcome Mr. Philip Holmes, Executive Director of the Governor's Commission on Physical Fitness and Sports, Program Director Deanna Pack, and Commission Board Member Rosalind Fabianchi. Mr. Holmes is presenting City of Red Bay Mayor Charlene Fancher a proclamation from the Governor's Office congratulating Mayor Fancher, the Red Bay City Council, and the City of Red Bay for hosting the first baseball camp of this magnitude in the state of Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful night. We wish to thank State Representative Johnny McMorrow. He spearheaded the opportunity to give children in Franklin, Calvert, and Marion counties a chance to acquire life learning skills along with mastering the fundamentals of baseball. This camp opens the door to instill positive values for promising futures for the youth of Northwest Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, let's honor our guests and this achievement with a wonderful round of applause. Thank you very much, and we're so glad our guests were with us tonight. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm Jack Ivey Live. Don't forget the Phil Camel Band coming up, followed by the Red Bay Band coming up as well. And, of course, we'll have that all for you here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, our score at halftime is 14-7, to 7, Phil Campbell. Introduce to you the 2017 edition of Phil Campbell High School Marching Bobcats. Tonight's program is entitled Phantom of the Piano Studio and features well-known piano tunes. The show begins with Ludwig and Wolfgang, followed by Knuckle Concerto, which we will feature the drum line and mallet percussion. We will conclude this evening's program with an exciting, with an exciting rendition of Chopsticks.
the Phil Campbell High School Marching Bobcats under the direction of Mr. William Stacy, Drum Major, Rana Wingo, Color Guard Instructor, Savannah Marbet, Percussion Instructors, Ben Neal and Mark Gajewski. Drill Design by Chris Richardson. Thank you, and as always, Go Bobcats! A great performance by the Bobcat Marching Band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please join me with your applause in welcoming the Red Bay Tiger Marching Band onto the field. Captain for the Tiger Band is Anna Jackson. Color, co color Guard Captain is Maya Jackson. Our majorettes are Madison Fierro and Layla Bilstein. Tonight, the Marching Tiger Band presents Queen. Music selections consist of We Will Rock You, Bohemian Rhapsody, featuring trumpet soloist Maggie Bates, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and We Are the Champions. The band is under the direction of Mr. Jonathan Hill. Mr. Hill, is your band ready? Please begin the performance.
Thank you. I thank you to the several community members and businesses for their support. Community Spirit Bank, Band, Sunshine Mills, Trinity Assembly of Church, Dr. Ray's Dentistry, Lindsay in Winchester, 4th Street Grill, Subway, Mr. and Ms. Hugh Johnson, Citizens Bank, Jacks, Miranda Smith, Cardinal Drive-In, Swamp Johns, Piggly Wiggly, Truvalia, and Redmont Pharmacy. Now it's time to play football again. Jack Ivey, Keith Kennedy, Byron Hillams back live at Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium. Not a good first half for the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers trail in the ball game 14 to seven and Phil Campbell will get the ball to start the second half. After joining us on the podcast, make sure you tell your friends and neighbors where they can enjoy the game at WRMGradio.com. Just click on the Red Bay link. Belmont trailing 13 to seven at halftime. Tish County leading seven to nothing at halftime. And right here, it's Phil Camel leading Red Bay 14 to seven. Short kick down to the 23, 25 on the return to the 30. And he's gonna return it to the 35. Tiger's gonna push him back at about the 36 yard line. And Keith, Red Bay Tigers on the defensive side to start the second half. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger football tonight on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Gary Armstrong, it does all you do your back work. Bunny Gray at Davis Realty, that great tasting Carl Louis sausage. Dickey Sparks at Sparks CPA Firm on our broadcast here tonight. State Farm agent Ronald Thorne. Don't forget he's now riding insurance in Alabama and Mississippi, 356-4459. He's waited about 38 years to do that, and now he can finally do it. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, now an agent in Mississippi. A little play action. He's got a receiver out there, perfectly past 45, down to the 30, down to the 20. Tigers, Colby Bragwell will push him out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. And it'll be first down and 10 from the 10-yard line. It's probably first and goal. We'll I don't think we're going to be able to get a first down. Red Bay Tiger football tonight here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And we appreciate everybody joining us here live in Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium. What a tough game for the Tigers. Keep in mind, Phil Campbell's only won one ball game coming into the game. Tigers have knocked off, of course, uh, Tharp Town knocked off Hatton and Belmont, uh, the only wins for the Tigers this year. And, uh, I guess on paper, the Tigers um, was expected to win this ball game. Not saying they're not going to win, but we're down 14 to 7 right now. And they'll lower their head there. The Tigers are knocking back, and they're going to give him no gain back to about the 10 yard line. It'll be first down and, or second down and go. I believe old Keith Kennedy's back got his mic going back down there. Keith? Yeah, I'm back in. You missed uh, a long pass, Keith. Uh, uh, they, we, they, uh, they had... we, uh, I was up meeting some uh, people that are uh, going to be involved in those baseball camps tomorrow, and sort of time got away from me. Second down and goal. Now the ball at the 11-yard line. Bill Camel already leading now, 14 to seven. Quarterback Thomas under center, and he's going to roll out pass. He's got 14 out there. Throws it incomplete. Good coverage over there by the Tigers. I believe uh, Mr. 12, Mr. Tanner Nichols over there for the Tigers. Key. Yeah, he, he had good good uh, good coverage there over on the uh, right side of our defense. I ain't heard from Gene. Uh, on any updates on uh, any scores here tonight. Uh, My Seminoles are behind 14 to nothing. Oh, uh, that's probably the reason Gene hadn't, hadn't reminded me. Uh, well, I think Gene has may have sent something since. Uh, right now, Boonville leads Belmont 13 to seven, Florida State zero, Boston College 21. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. That game up at Boston College. Quarterback back to pass on third and go. The completed pass, and he snuck it touchdown. into the end zone for a touchdown. Number one, Sage Raper. And it will be a touchdown for the ball club, Peyton Thomas on the completed pass there. So it's now 20 to seven for the Red Bay Tigers. Keith, we got our backs to the wall, haven't we? We're gonna have to um, 
figure out a way to move this ball. Probably put it up a little bit more. We blocked the extra point. Good job there blocking it for the Tigers, Mr. Jalen Vinson. So that'll make it 20 to seven. Maybe that'll leave us a, a door open later. Uh, maybe for a, for a win. Of course, we've got to score some touchdowns for that to be a factor, but uh, we appreciate all the folks out there. The Astros leading the Dodgers four to nothing. I'm up, it's raining. Oh, it is? Yep. Uh, I can't, it's not up here. You know it's not raining up here, don't you? I understand. So we'll have the kickoff by the ball club from Phil Camel coming up in just a second. Hey, thanks for listening tonight. Thanks to Triple D's Bucket Service. That's Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick. They'll try to meet all your high reach needs, whether trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, or maybe stump grinding, maybe cleaning your church steeple. They're licensed, bonded, insured. 662 279 7500. Also, a big shout out to Sherry Jolly and all the staff at the Red Bay Hospital tonight. Don't forget they got, of course, corporate rates available for local employees, including Gates, Tiffin, Sunshine, Franklin County employees. Uh, they're at the Well Care Center. They'll take care of you, I promise you that. Also, I want to thank Paige Clearing, Joel Caroline, and Jody Page. To kick off the Tigers on the return, this is, I believe, Vincent. Vincent up to the 30, maybe up to the 35. We'll see where they actually place it, and the Tigers will put it in play first and 10. So the Tigers will bring it up to the line of scrimmage. Tigers gonna run that ball to the left side. Kobe to the 40, up to the 45, to the 46 yard line. And Keith, he's got a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. It looks nice little nice Kobe King run. I'm gonna come up, it's raining pretty hard. Now. You're not gonna let a little rain bother you, are you? You're not lying about this rain, are you? No, sir. Keith's going to join us up here in the booth in just a little bit. First down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. They're going to try Louie to the right side. Louie's got some running room this time. 45-50 down to the 45, down close to the 40. He's got about 13 yards or so, and it'll be another first down for the Red Bay Tigers. First down and 10, Red Bay Tigers. You're on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We're on a... Friday night. Don't forget, we'll be back here next Thursday night. Uh, cover these Red Bay Tigers and Cherokee Indians. That'll be the last game of the season. Tigers not going to the playoffs. And of course, uh, we'll have to wait till next year to watch some more Red Bay Tiger football. Tigers, we got a flag on the play. Aaron Louie running the football down to about the 30 yard line, but we'll see what this flag is all about. Live coverage here tonight on the Ivy Broadcasting Company, which again, we appreciate you very, very, very much. We'll see what this flag's all about. We're gonna be holding against the Tigers. We'll get Keith situated here. And Keith, you've got your own headset mic now. You won't even need the wireless or anything. So now I'll have to charge you extra for, for this. I don't know what that'll move the ball all the way back to the Tiger 47 yard line. I don't know what that noise is, do you? Red Bay Tigers, Aaron Louie, no running room that time. We got to get all the way down to the 30 yard line, about to 31 for a first down. We're looking at second down and about, it uh, looks like second down and about 22 yards to go for the first down. See if you can hear me now, Keith. Yeah. I got you right there. Jack Ivey, Keith Kennedy here. We're going to fake it and lay that ball up. we got a receiver out there, and he's making the catch. That's Rooker down to the 10, down to the sideline to the, looks like about the 10-yard line. He may have stepped out. We'll double check where they spotted in. Keith, uh, a very nice catch. A little play action a little bit, a little faking a handoff to Louie in the backfield. 
And Rooker, who's done it many times this season, got open, made a great catch, a good run after it, and they're going to say he's down at about the 15-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers on a nice throw and catch right there. This time that Tigers handed it off. Louie, not much running room. Keith down to about the 14-yard line. Yeah, that's uh, just a run right off uh, our right guard tackle area, and, and uh, he picked up one yard. When we get in that uh, tight formation, uh, they squeeze us pretty, pretty good. And from Tigers down, Keith 20 to seven. We're going. We need a touchdown in a hurry. There's Louis off to the right side. Louis may get in the end zone. Touchdown. And he does. Touchdown, Red Bay Tigers. Louie from about, what, 13 yards out? Yeah. We'll get on the board for the Red Bay Tigers. That score comes, Keith, with 7.27 to go third quarter. It's 20 to 13. 20 to 13. So Mary will kick the extra point. And the kick, uh, the snap is a little high. Rooker can't get it. Now we got a flag on the play. We'll see what this flag is all about. Gonna be a false start for the Tigers. What means it's gonna be about a a 25-yard extra point here. I think he's going to be able to do it. We need this one big time since they missed one earlier. There's the extra point, Murray. It's going to be no good. So, boy, we needed that. And, then of course, that penalty hurt us there. It's now 20-13. to 13. So, a touchdown and an extra point, we can at least tie the game. But, uh, Joe, you got to get extra – we got, to, of course, the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders down below trying to cheer a little bit in the rain down there. We'll go down and listen to the cheerleaders a little bit. Tigers cheerleaders performing down there for us. Tigers getting ready to kick off. Keith, we're down three. And I don't know how long it's been since Phil Camel knocked off the Tigers, but uh, it's been several years. It's been a while. And, uh, of course, the Tigers this year on paper, uh, one in seven coming into the game tonight was Phil Camel. They've struggled all season long. And Tigers have struggled. Tigers got three wins. There's a kickoff going down to about the 21, back to the 25-30. And Nichols, a big head on tackle, Keith, at about the 35-yard line. Yeah, they got a – Nichols uh, will drop that head, won't he? Yes, sir. He, got, he made a tackle. And on, also on the ball, that was uh, 64, Mr. Dakota Vinson. Dakota's been on a lot of tackles tonight. So Phil Campbell will begin this drive at their own 35-yard line, first and 10. Thomas hands that ball over the left side, maybe for a yard or two before the Tigers push him back. we got live coverage of Red Bay Tiger football tonight, brought to you by Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barstow, along with Alpha Insurance, the Cardinal Drive-In, Community Spirit Bank, also Dr. Fabianca and his staff, and also Mr. Mike Engel and all the folks at Engel Farms. Don't forget for all your poultry house cleanouts and litter spreading needs, call Mike right now, 256 Six six eight zero seven seven five. Keith, uh, I know we got another game to next week, but boy, these sponsors continue oh, to stay with us, don't you? They've been with us for so so many years, and uh, so we sh appreciate that so much. Enables us to do these things for people of Red Bay. Second down at about seven to go for the first down. Trying to break it to the outside of the forty, lowering their head to the forty-four yard line. 
There's old Jalen Vinson coming up, making the hit. He'll hit you, too. Oh, freshman. yeah, yeah. I, I noticed on that play our defensive outside – our outside defensive – two outside defensive players both went inside, and he just bounced it outside, and they've hurt us all night uh, uh, doing that. And uh, so uh, – Maybe we'll get that straightened out. They got a first down at the Red Bait, uh, rather the Phil Campbell 45-yard line. Phil Campbell leads 20 to 13. We're in the third quarter tonight live, 6.08 to go. 20 to 13, Phil Campbell leading Red Bay. Belmont uh, was trailing 13-7 at halftime against Boonville. Tish County was up 7 to nothing. That game already after three. I don't know where they speeding that game up over Tish County. A white little quarterback sneak trying to catch the Tigers. Maybe asleep there up the middle, but the Tigers had it covered pretty well. Keith. Yeah, we we've played inside tonight. We played well from tackle to tackle. They've just hurt us on the outside and in, uh, in passing the ball. So uh, we well, uh, well, they've got us right over the middle. I don't know. They've been open at least three big plays on that one, Keith. Oh yeah, and uh, we we've just uh, not taking care of business and passing situation. Here we go, second down and eight. And they're going to toss that one to the left. Number three, cutting it in. Boy, we got that in cover to push him oh, back yeah. for no gain. It'll be third down, I guess. Yeah, that's Mr. Uh, Cam McKinney over there. Way to go, buddy. That's a good play. Appreciate Dr. Ralph Nick's family dinner still located behind the post office, 356-8641. Albin Mason Construction, along with Bay Tree Gift Company. Understand the fixing to get a brand new load of that Etta B. Pottery from down in Etta, Mississippi. They got the whiffer sniffers for the kids, T-shirts, frames, a lot of great gift items. They got everything from oh, a lot of bridal gifts and baby registry gifts as well. See Lori, Jane, and, of course, the boss lady, Miss Lindsay there in Red Bay, Alabama at Bay Tree Gift Company. Third down, big play right here. Watch it over the middle, guys. Third down and nine yards to go. They got two receivers left and two right. This time they got somebody cutting across the middle, but they go to the left side, and he's caught the football for a first down inside the 40 down to about the 35-yard line. Yeah. And, Keith, uh, they were going middle, 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 and this time they go to the left side and open right. again. Well, I mean, we're, we're not getting any pressure on him. He's got all day to stand back there and throw the ball. And, uh, it, it, you know, our, our DBs on that play didn't do awful bad, but it just he had so long that uh, they eventually got open. And, uh so uh, it's a nice third down pickup. So the they've, field. They've, they're, they've completed a high percentage of their third down uh, plays tonight. They're at the Red Bay Tiger 35 yard line, first down and 10. This time they go to the quick handoff and he picks up a couple of yards. It'll be second down and eight down to the Red Bay Tiger 33 yard line. Now Keith, everybody was saying Phil Campbell's going to throw it ever down, ever down, ever down. They've not come in here and done that tonight, uh, and they've had success. I'm, I'm glad because <laughs> they've been pretty successful throwing the ball. I'm glad they're running oh, it. Oh, I am too. Second down and eight yards to go for the first down. They picked up two on that carry. If you're out there listening to our broadcast tonight, we'd love to hear from you. You can send us a little text at 662-423-7602. And uh, Keith, uh, we appreciate all these folks listening out there tonight. Uh, it's sprinkled a little bit here in the third quarter. Overall, uh, uh, it's been a pretty good night so far. It's been a little cool, but uh, thankful the rain has held off. But right now, the rain's coming down, and we got a lot of folks that was prepared for it, a lot of umbrellas in the stands that uh, anticipated this. You know, if you were at a college game, they wouldn't let you have an umbrella. Do you know that? No. They won't. They won't let you have an umbrella hmm. at a college game. But, yeah. I don't know why, but I guess obstructing people's view, right. I guess. And, uh, Third down and about seven to go for the first down. They're sitting at the Red Bay Tiger 32-yard line. Today's game brought to you by Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent out on Highway 19, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, and by Tiffin Motorhomes, featuring Allegra. Quarterback back to pass looking. He's got plenty of time. He throws the pass on an out pattern, and, we had that one played perfectly over there, Keith. Yeah, that's Kinda. Mr. Tanner Nichols. Way to go, buddy. I mean, but uh, we just uh, uh, we just give him all day to throw the ball, and uh, we made a good play over there. Way to go, guys. So it's going to be fourth down and seven. Have they even punted tonight? One time. One time. One time. 
you know, they've get went for it on some fourth down. No, no, no I think they maybe putted twice because remember we blocked one, yeah. or it went one yard, and and the other one we roughed him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or tackled, <laughs> tackled, him. tackled, tackled him. <laughs> Here they're going to go for it here on fourth down at about seven at the Red Bay Tiger 32. Quarterback back to pass. Plenty of time. He throws it out pattern down to the 22-yard line. And he's going to be a – he knew exactly where the first down marker was. And, Keith, that is going to be a first down for the ball club uh, for Brody Nix on the reception there. Brody's a pretty good-sized guy. He's six foot two, 205 on the reception there for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. And Keith, there's uh, something that guy did a, a really good job of doing. He ran a pattern, but where he caught the football, guess what, he had a first down. First if he, down, yeah. If he had been a yard short, we tackled him as soon as he caught it. He was down there, so it wouldn't have been a first down. Yeah. So you're going to run a pattern, uh, and it's on a fourth down. Like, you need to make sure you got out got out there enough for the first down if it's possible. And they got first down and 10, just uh, shy of the 20-yard line. Going to run it again this time. Tiger's going to push him back. Jack, it's just the same old thing. They, It, it gets to uh, – Another flag. flag. Yeah, we get uh, – we, we get uh, – we stop them on second and third – first and second down, and then on third and fourth they just uh, – they throw the ball, and we do not rush the passer, and he has all day to complete it. A couple of flags on the field. Let's see what they're all about. It is going to be a personal foul – against Phil Campbell, face mask, another personal foul against Red Bay. Decline. Decline. So it's all set. So a personal foul against the Red Bay Tigers. So we had uh, looks at 15 coming. I don't know why we ended up with that uh, back official there throwing the one. He, I think he probably threw one against Red Bay. I don't know what he's what he saw back there to give uh, the penalty against the Red Bay Tigers. The second and ten. At the 23-yard line of Red Bay, thanks to Wicked Marinero. You been getting them cheese sticks lately? No, sir, I haven't. But I've been, everybody heard several people that have and uh, how good they are. And Wicked Marinero serving your family from their family. There's a little talk back to number three. Tigers got this one strung out and boy uh, coming up uh, explosively to make that stop. The Tigers, of course, Kobe Bragwell, a little help over there from Mr. Nichols, Keith. Yeah, uh, Tanner Nichols strung that thing out and here come Tanner was aggressively pursuing that play and we tackled him for about a six yard loss there. So it's gonna be second down and 16. Red Bay trails 20 to 13. If you're joining us on a broadcast, we really appreciate you being with us here tonight. I think uh, we might be getting a, an update uh, down in Belmont. Boonville uh, still leading Belmont 13-7, to that game in the third quarter down in Belmont. Right now it's 20-13. to Phil Campbell leading here against the Red Bay Tigers. We're in the third quarter, 32 seconds, and a light sprinkle here. Fred Bostick, quarterback under center. Quarterback dropping back to pass. A little pressure on, a little screen over the middle. He caught it. Tigers are there to make the stop. And he's going to be looking at uh, third down and at least, no, it's, it's going to be, be fourth, fourth, yeah, fourth down. down, about 12, so 11. Fourth down and 11 yards to go for the first down. Tish County leading seven to six that game in the fourth quarter over at Tishomingo County tonight. And that will be the end of the third quarter. It's so on a rainy night in Red Bay, Alabama, and a much cooler night. Keith, I wasn't kidding. It was in the 60s or so, I guess, uh, uh, earlier before with the broadcast this afternoon, and boy, that little right. front started coming in. We got to hang on, we're gonna lower the flag. Hang on. So we're about ready to start the fourth quarter, lowering the flag right here. 
Appreciate Predator Pest Control on our broadcast. Don't forget for all your pest control needs, we take care of those termite problems with 20 years experience. Also, Red Bay Pharmacy. Bill Donna Weatherford and Pam Moore in the stand. Here's your Tiger cheerleaders. Co-captain is Lexi Collins. Heidi Tesher. Carly Lindley. Elizabeth Markham. Sydney Harden. Kara McNeil. Reagan Kirkendall. Taylor Funderburg. Emma Russell. Bailey Bolton. Lexi Collins, Reagan Humphreys, Kaylee Scott, and your mascot, Victoria Strickland. Your Red Bay Tigers are stipulators. Give these girls a big hand. Keith, we're about ready to. Uh, Fourth here in get, 11. Get the fourth quarter. This big play, two receivers left, one right, and the pistol formation. The quarterback back to pass. Looking, we flush him out of the pocket. This time we got him cut off. He's going to have to throw it or lose yardage. Long throw down the field. We got a chance to intercept it, but uh, we do not. But we're going to take over the football, and we're going to have it at about the 22-yard line. So big, big, big series for the Red Bay Tigers coming up right here. Yeah, we just uh, we dropped eight and rushed three, and – Somehow our, our three put pressure on the quarterback and, uh, and run him out of the pocket over to his right, and uh, uh, he just sort of whole heaved it down there hoping he might get a miracle catch, and uh, we broke it up. So it's going to be first and ten for the Tigers on their 22-yard line. I was trying to think uh, who Tish County was playing tonight. They're playing Bahia on uh, senior night, and uh, Tigers, uh, not by here, but uh, Tish County leading 7-6 to six that ball game in the fourth quarter. Tish County trying to end the season on a winning note. We're going to go to Louie. Louie, not much running room on the left side as the Phil Campbell Bobcats are there to make the stop. 20-13 to 13 the score. We're down by seven. And, Keith, uh, you know, we've got better and better on the year as far as kicking X points. You know, Hayden Murray has done a really good job coming on for the Tigers. And, uh, uh, since he's kind of took over those duties, been working hard at it. But uh, it's going to come down if Hayden can kick that extra point, if we can get out there and score. So That's right. We've got to get down there. Come on, Hayden. Uh, get loosened up over there, and hopefully we can get down and score to have a chance to tie this ball game up. Quarterback pulling it down. He's got to the 30, 35 to the 40. This is Kobe Bragwell to the 50, down to the 40. They got a guy back. He missed him. 25 to the 20. He's at the 10, 5. Touchdown, Red Bay Tigers. That's 76, 77 yard run. What a run by Kobe Bragwell. They had a guy that got out in front of him, their number 14, I believe it was. And he had a chance to make the tackle and guess what, he did not. And uh, that was uh, Austin Baker and Bragwell took that ball to the house. He's 77 yards. And I, you know, I told uh, Hayden to get ready and uh, Hayden probably didn't know he's gonna have to get ready that, that quick. quick. Yeah. And I don't see him out there. And I think we're going to go for two here. There's still a lot of time. So it's 20 to 19. The Tigers are going to go to take the lead right here. Of course, you got a wet field out there. It's not like coming a flood or nothing like that. It's just a light sprinkle, but still the ball slick. We're going to go for it here. Quarterback's going to pull it down, and, and he is going to be awful close, and they say no, no good. So the two-point conversion is no good as the quarterback pulled that one down. And it's 20 to 19. 20 to 19 is your score. Live coverage here of Red Bay Tiger football tonight right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Keith, uh, uh, Tigers, uh, a quick score right then, and we still got a lot of time. We just got to play defense with 11.02 to go to hopefully get out of here with a big win tonight. Yeah, we, we sure need, need to get us a win tonight. That was a, that was a uh, just a quarterback draw, and, uh, and Kobe broke the line of scrimmage and uh, made a couple guys miss him coming down the sideline and went 77 yards for a touchdown for the Tigers there. I was sort of hoping on that two-point conversion will let somebody else run it because I know he was winded running that uh, long run there. But uh, we'll uh, 
we've got plenty of time here. We just need to uh, get a good kickoff and stop them and, uh, and uh, get us some more points. There's the kickoff. Murray not going down very deep. We're going to field it at about the 21-yard line. Back to the 30. Breaks a tackle to 35 up to the 38-yard line. Keith, a nice stop defensively there. And number three, is that? Uh, that's number two, uh, Logan Scott was in on that. And Jake Pound's number three. number three. You know, Belmont hadn't had very much success against Booville over the years. And right now, I know the Bates got to be excited. Belmont leading Booville 14 to 13. That All game. Right. In the fourth quarter down there, they're trying to let's go Cardinals. They're trying to move their seed up to a third seed, All right. and uh, I think you're gonna have to travel regardless. But I guess I'd rather be playing a two over there than a one, even though it. even though both of them is gonna be tough. Come on, Tiger defense right here. They're gonna quarterback's gonna pull it down. We've got that and played well. We're gonna uh, string him out, oh, Mr. Nichols. Great play there by Tanner Nichols. Way to go, buddy. That's gonna be about a three or four yard loss there. So the Tigers here playing much better in the second half. Uh, the rain picking up, it's kind of coming in little sheets or whatever. So uh, we'll see how the Tigers can do here. Jack uh, Tanner, you know, he's he's uh, got to play more as the year went on and he fought off a blocker that play and, and made the tackle. So that's a really good play on his part. Appreciate your Edward Jones, agent Mr. Mike Jones on a broadcast here tonight. Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering. Three receivers going over to the right side. Look like one over here on the left. Quarterback in the shotgun with a back right beside him. Quarterback's going to roll out to pass. He's looking downfield. Throws it in traffic there. And he made the catch up at the 45-yard line. He's still going to be about four yards short of the first down. Rain coming down pretty good here tonight. Uh, Keith, I, I think you made the right decision with coming up here. Yeah, it was. It was I but, looked on the radar, and it's coming. It's it's going to get a little heavier as the night goes on here. Keith, I don't know who 100% was responsible for the hospitality of the Tiger Den tonight. A lot of folks enjoying that. But uh, uh, lots of goodies up there for the folks to enjoy. And uh, yeah. you folks that uh, make that possible each and every week, I promise you, we really appreciate the invites that uh, we get to go up and eat a quick bite. There's a pass complete down to the Red Bay Tiger 46-yard line. They may place him at the 47. It's still going to be a first down. Fred Bostick Junior, Junior Memorial Stadium, and that temperature, I don't know exactly what the temperature is out there. It's but dropping. It, it is dropping? It is dropping. Well, let's see here. Gene Thorne said earlier it's 52, but feels like 48. Boston College did get a 21-3. Uh, to 3. Florida State did get a field goal, if that makes you feel any better. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about the cabin porch picking tomorrow at Pleasant Site. Uh, the Roger Johnson and Miss Debbie and Heavens Mountain Band is going to be playing on the porch there. And guess what? You're invited. So Phil Campbell's got an injured player on the field. We'll have a break in the action here. Second down and eight as that play got a couple of yards. Seth Brindley is the injured ball player, and he's – Easing off the field. Live coverage here on the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Jack Ivey, Keith Kennedy, Byron Helms. Don't forget, next Thursday night, right here, next Thursday night, right here, we'll have Red Bay and Cherokee in another battle. And next Friday night, we'll be with Belmont on the road somewhere in the playoffs. Second down and eight. They're at the Red Bay Tiger 45-yard line. Phil Campbell, they lead 20 to 19. Quarterback, a little swing pass out of the backfield. Tigers make the stop at the 42-yard line, but Keith, he's still going to pick up five. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be third down here in about, uh, about five yards. Appreciate Redmond heating and cooling with Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569. By Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, best wishes to the Tigers tonight from Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized Freightliner and RV dealer. Also for injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing as well. We're talking about Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic, 301 Jackson Avenue. Call him right now, 331-0208. 
along with Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Another quick pass and another completed pass down at the Red Bay Tiger 35-yard line. That one complete uh, to number 34 for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. I, I don't know if our guys our guys have got to come up and play a little closer because they're just going right. They're playing off of them eight or ten yards, and they're just uh, running down there about five yards and doing a little hook, and they're completing them, and uh, we're going to have to come up and challenge them a little bit there. So Phil Camel coming up, the clock running now with 6.54 to go. Red Bay trails 20 to 19, but Phil Camel got a pretty good drive going the handoff. We've done a great job stopping him right up the middle. Yeah, you know, Jack, from tackle, from defensive tackle to defense tackle, we they have not gained very very many yards on us, but uh, it's uh, when they get to, like here, second and eight and third and five or six, they just throw those little short passes, and we don't come up and challenge them with our DBs, and uh, we're just making it easy for them. Appreciate Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, along with Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Those guys have been working to keep people some air. Now they're trying to get them some heat. Yeah, that's and, right. And over here the next week or two or three or month, you know, it's kind of you need air one day, heat at night. Yeah. So they're testing them units out. Quarterback back to pass. Second down, he's going to pull it down and run. He's got some running room down inside the 30, down first, close to the 25, down. as he's got another first down for the Phil Camel Bobcats. Good job by Peyton Thomas there. For the ball club from Phil Camel, they lead Red Bay. 20 to 19, Phil Campbell has only won one ball game coming in here tonight, and I'm not for sure who they beat. But um, I think it was Thark Town. We beat Tharp Town, didn't we? Yes, that's one of our three. Beat Tharp Town, beat Hatton, and Belmont. That's it. And, uh, of course, we lost some tough ones over there. I, I go back to where this uh, struggling season started with losing over at Mars Hill. Yeah, yeah that was... We shouldn't have ever lost over to Mars Hill. Not taking anything away from Mars Hill. They got a good ball club, but uh, you know we we came up a yard short that night. And of course, you don't ever want to get in that situation being a yard short. But uh, and after we went back and watched the replay, it was the correct call where the game ended. Second down and six is that last play picked up four. They're down at the Red Bay Tiger. Looks like about 20. Uh, 21, 22 yard line. Yeah. Keith, that rain coming down with 504. And boy, yeah, they, uh, they're milking the clock. Yeah, uh, Phil Campbell has controlled this game with their offense. You know, they've just been methodically driving the ball down the field, getting four, five, six yards at a pop. Or th then that may they completed a couple long passes, but most of the time it's just been these four and five yard runs and passes on us. Rain coming down. Now we got. A, a flag on the play. Game. Boy, that's a critical call against uh, Phil Camel. They're to get a delay of the game, they had like second down and maybe six or whatever. And uh, that rain blowing around a little bit, it's coming down pretty hard right now. The Red Bay Tigers and Phil Camel playing in a pretty good little rain. Of course, the field was pretty dry, so I don't think that's going to be a, a factor at all before this game is over, but uh, the slickness of uh, the ball is, as far as I don't mean it's going to be like field muddy or anything like that, but it's coming down pretty hard. They're going to keep it on the ground, breaking it to the outside. The Tiger's going to throw him for a loss. Third down and about maybe 12, 13 yards to go for the first down as that play loses. And Keith, our biggest enemy right now is the clock, four minutes and 27 seconds to go. Yeah, we got we got to get the, get the ball. I just... Phil Campbell leads 20 to 19. We're live here tonight. Keith, I got you some more good news. Belmont has scored and leads 21 to 13 over All right. Bruno. All right, let's go, Cardinals. And the quarterback back to pass, a little play action. He's got a receiver out there. We got some help coming over oh. to knock it away. Kobe Bragwell. Yeah. Boy, you could see Kobe coming over, playing that one perfectly yeah, and knocked that, it away. That's, that's the way you play at the uh, – we were in too deep, what they call uh, – uh, uh, two deep coverage and uh, they call it cover two and the corners come up and challenge them and then they let them, let them on by and the safeties come over and uh, pick them up and that's exactly what happened. So it's fourth and 12 here. And there was a penalty there holding. We declined that one so they're going to have fourth down at about 13. 
Tigers bringing in a new face or two into the ball game. Dakota Vinson checking into the ball game. Tigers. And bringing Aaron Louie in also. So fourth down at about 13. Clock stop. Yes. With four minutes to go, 20 to 19 the score. Keith, you know I have to stick my head out the window yeah, to that, see that. That's... Quarterback back to pass. He's looking, looking. We got pressure on. Now he throws it and oh, batted away. Yeah. Downfield is yeah. Kennedy. Yeah, Alex got in the throwing zone there. He was open and he was go trying to go back to where they've gone all night. It's down the middle and the linebackers got deep enough to uh, – uh, get in the way, and he batted that off. That was a good play by Alex Kennedy. So it's going to be first down for the Red Bay Tigers. We'll have it at our own 27-yard line. Got a long ways to go, but we got 3:53 to go, 20 to 19. I don't. Have we I, used any timeouts? No, at? we got all three of our timeouts. So, so we'll see what the Tigers can do right here. Appreciate you. Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris Valerie. Thank you, Tiffin Supply. Thank you, Med Express of Red Bay. Tiger's going to run it. We're bringing it to the right side. That's Louis. Louis, 30. Cuts it back to the 35. He's at the 40. Up to the 40, 50. Down the sideline. Cuts it back into the 40-yard line. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds around that 40-yard line. But what a run by Aaron Louis. Jack has a 33-yard run there. He got to the outside and just kept making guys miss him. And, uh, you know, when this – the field is a little – just it's got uh, just a little uh, wetness on the top of it, and uh, it's – they're losing their footing trying to get stopped. Quick. 340 to go there at the Red Bay Tigers at their 40-yard line. We'll pull it down right up the middle to the 20. Cutting it down to the 15, down to the 10, to the 9-yard line. They may say 10-yard line. That's Kobe Bragwell on the run. And Keithy takes that from the 40 down to the 10, actually yeah. 39. So that's uh, 30, 30, 20, 30 yards almost. Yeah, that's 30 yards. So the Red Bay Tigers uh, moving this ball down in the field in a hurry with 3.30 to go. We don't need to get in there too quick and give them much time left. Today's game brought to you by Trasted Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Persson. When you become a customer of ours, you become family. We take the uncertainty out of your insurance. And we got a flag, and we, we've we got a – they're going to be a false start against the Tigers. Appreciate Kim Lindsay, who, of course, you know, she purchased that So Cute for You a long time ago. She does all your monogramming and screen printing. She's located next to Lindsay Winchester Drapery Company. Looking forward to hearing from you. She really appreciates your business. 256-668-0142. And, Kim, I got some shirts I need monogrammed, and I need to get them to you, and I uh, uh, need some WRMG shirts. I've got the shirts, just need them monogrammed, and, Kim, we're going to be hollering at you. should have already had them over there. Appreciate Jamie Sparks, 20 years' experience in the contracting business. Remember, one call does it all. We go into Kobe King to the left. Kobe turns that ball in great to the 10. Down inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Kobe King on a nice run there. 2.41 to go. Appreciate Movie Mania on the Golden Road. New releases starting at $99. Crystal Pearson, Destiny, and Emma McAllister. Also, BJ's Hair Necessities. See us for all your hair care needs as well, cuts and perms. And she's also got 10% off on perms through November. At BJ's, you need a perm? No, I'm you, good. You will need one. You, you can save 10%. All right. BJ's Hair Sesties, over 28 years experience, celebrating her fifth anniversary right now. McKinney RV, thank you, Theron. We got a timeout. I think the Tigers going to let that clock run down a little bit to 2.09 and get a timeout. So, Keith, it's homecoming night, homecoming really late in the season right. normally. But uh, there was a little deal going on in there, you know, with some kind of fall break that kind of messed everything up and they ended up having to have homecoming tonight. And uh, like I said, a little bit late in the year that, that you normally have homecoming, but we had a great homecoming parade today. And I want to say hats off to all the folks that were involved in putting the homecoming parade together and all the festivities before the ball game. And I know Miss Janet had a lot of folks helping her, and uh, you're better half. But uh, there's a lot of folks that work behind the scenes to make that a success. And There is. They, they put a lot of hard work into it, and, and it's, it doesn't just start 
this week it's been ongoing for several weeks. How long have you been hearing about it around for the house? Quite some time. So hats off to them. Oh, no doubt. Appreciate Grace Along Real Estate along with Mary Ellen Allen and all the folks at CBNS Bank, Redmond Pharmacy, H&R Block of Red Bay IU Fulton by Franklin Electric and by Big Star of Red oh, Bay. No. We got a snap over the quarterback. Couldn't oh, handle no. it. So we're going to lose yardage all the way back to the 18-yard line. That, uh, yeah, we got to get in the, the end zone. The rain is not coming down as hard as it was, but still a pretty good rain. And that's uh, Even on that play that we had the false start, there was a – we snapped it, but you know there was a little yeah, bobble. Yeah, he bobbled it yeah, on that one. It's it's third, and we got a score. It's a, a, eighteen. So looks like he'd have something out there for him to dry them hands off, like yeah, a towel. Yeah. We got to get into the end zone. We got third down, and goal to go. Yeah. And we got two receivers to the right. And this time the quarterback's going to pull it down. He's running to the left side. He's got blocking out front. Inside the 10, we're back to the eight yard line. Now yeah. it's going to be fourth down. Yeah. 20 to 19, the score. We're down to a minute and 14 seconds to go. Mm. Keith, we might ought to get one of them timeouts right here and yeah. talk this one over. Yeah. I think we may have an update. Uh, Tishomingo County wins the last game of the year, seven to six. Oh, my goodness. Senior night. All right. So How many games they win? Two. Won the first one. and uh, No, I take it back. They won three. Won the first one. And then won uh, homecoming right in the middle of the season and win senior night. All right. So the first game of the season, one about midway and one at the end. Congratulations, uh, Coach Jim McKay and the Braves winning. Belmont leading Boonville 21 to 13. And I'm telling you, when you're paying those Boonville Blue Devils, anything can happen and that game's never over. Don't be surprised if Boonville scores at the last second. It's just they're that, they're that type of team. But uh, Belmont trying to get a win down there tonight. Here it's 20 to 19, Red Bay trailing by one point to the rivals from Phil Camel, Alabama. 52 seconds to go. You folks from Phil Camel, don't forget if you'd like to get a copy of this game or any game we've done. We've got the Belmont, I mean, the uh, Tish County and uh, Belmont and Red Bay games all the way back to 2001. We're going to okay. try a field goal here. It's going to be a 25 yarder. Asking a lot for Hayden Murray right here. Rooker is the holder. We're going to try the field goal, and it looks like we're going to get a timeout to try to ice him. I don't think he's going to need to be icing tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, the way we were kind of scrambling there to get out, you'd think after a timeout you come out there and you got plenty of time to get lined up. It looked like we were not really too comfortable with uh, about ready to kick it. You know, it looked right. like we were rushing it. So, Maybe getting that timeout, but Phil Campbell will help us go out there. You know, after a timeout, you'd think you'd come out there and be relaxed out plenty of time, but we were rushing around like it, yeah. we weren't comfortable with it. Yeah. Red Bay right now trails 20 to 19, 52 seconds to go in the game, 20 to 19, and we trail. Appreciate Banner Tire Store, New and Used Tires, Duck Commander, plus all other brands. Jason Parker, the manager, they fix those big tractor flats, got all the utility tires and Stuff available, Tiny Tigers Pre-K, Angeline Chamley, the owner, 530 to 530-356-8736. Dr. Jim Neighbors, Neighbors Clinic, City of Red Bay, Big Star, on our broadcast, along with Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent. Come on, Hayden Murray, let's get a field goal and hopefully get out of here with a win tonight. There's a snap. The kick, it is up. It looks good. It is. Yeah. It's the, good. the Red Bay Tigers have kicked a field goal from Hayden Murray. 25 yarder to put the Tigers on top 22 to 20. Now Keith, we may still not win this ball game. There's still 50 something seconds to go, but who would have thought early in the year that we could win a ball game oh, kicking well, a field we, goal? We couldn't kick, we couldn't even come close. And he's really, that was a, golly, that was a lot of pressure. Way to go, Hayden Murray. That's I think a, I think Phil Campbell helped him out. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah, by I that, you're by right. that timeout. Right, I and because that gave a he he looked a lot more relaxed when he went out there, didn't he? Right, and and we got lined up and uh, adjusted, so way to go, guys! Appreciate got a, got a good snout too. Oh, you yeah. know, to, good hole. Everybody was involved in yeah. that. Appreciate Ronnie Cook at Modern Woodman six six two four two three eighty four seventy seven. Red Bay Gas and Water. Don't forget Sunshine Mills. Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member. By Cash and Thermal Plastics, Chuck and Miss Barbara. You also want to thank Piggly Wiggly. 
Davis Ford by Red Bay Rentals. Johnny Weatherford, don't forget now leasing those mini storage buildings. He's got 12 by 24, 10 by 20, and 10 by 10. Also 10 by 10 climate control. 256-668-0039. Johnny Weatherford, thank you so much for helping to sponsor these games. Appreciate Angie and Tad LeMay. Consider the Lilies, new arrivals. They got some new styles of those essential oil diffusers. Our newest addition to the line is the white grapefruit. Uh, 356-8313. Thank you, Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty. Carl Lewis Sausage by Dr. Stephen Ray. Gary Armstrong. It does all you doze your backhoe work by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. By Dickie Spark CPA Firm. State Farm Agent Ronald Thorne. Also the Red Bay Hospital Triple D's Bucket Service. By Page Clearing. Also Engel Farm. Stadium Pros, a medical clinic of Red Bay. Dr. Fabianchi. Alpha Insurance. The Cardinal Drive-In. And by Community Spirit Bank. Red Bay 22 to 20 lead, 48 seconds to go. The Tigers will kick it off. Come on, guys, get downfield and make a stop. Goes down to about the 19. They're back to the 25. Right up the middle, the Tigers are going to stop him at about the 36 yard line. So that's where we're going to play it first down and 10. Yeah, that's a tackle there by. Uh... Mr. Dakota Vincent, number 64. Way to go, Dakota. Boy, he's been in a lot of plays tonight. He's played a, a really exceptionally good game tonight. So uh, we know they're going to be throwing the ball, Jack. So DBs, just keep everything in front of you, buddy, guys. Belmont 21, Boonville 19 with a minute 57 to go down in Belmont. Let's Here go, are the Cardinals. Tigers. Tigers lead 22-20. Quarterback in the shotgun. They're known for their passing. Looking downfield, the Tigers put pressure on. Now he breaks it away to the 40, up to the 45. We finally tackle him up to the 47-yard line. And he's going to have a first down. They'll move the change. Rain still coming down. 31 seconds to go. 31 seconds to go. They'll wind the clock up. Phil Camel. Back to pass. They're looking down a little uh, pass to the right side. He's going to be pretty close to the first down. Down at the Red Bay Tiger 43-yard line. They will stop the clock. And 20 seconds to go. It's not a first down. I don't know why they stopped the clock. Why is the clock stopped? Why did he stop no, the clock? No, they're going to give him a first down. But he didn't have a first no, down. No, no, he didn't. He didn't have a first down. All right, the quarterback back looking downfield. He pulls it down. Now he's got some running room. Tigers are going to come up, and he's going to run out of bounds. We'll see where he went out of bounds at. Looks like about the Red Bay Tiger 38-yard line. So it'll be second down. We're down to 13 seconds to go, Keith. Need to put a little pressure on right here. Appreciate you, Alvin Mason Construction, along with Bay Tree Gift Company. Boonville kicked an onside kick and got the ball. Oh, no. So Belmont trying to hang on down in Belmont. Red Bay trying to hang on here. They got a trick play set up here. They got three receivers to the left and one to the right. Quarterback back to pass. He's going to go downfield over the middle, and it is going to be incomplete down at the 18-yard line. We're down to six seconds to go. Keith, we probably. This will be the last play unless, there a, unless there's a penalty. Phil Campbell's going to take so, their last time out. Appreciate you, Dr. Ralph Nix, Tiffin Motorhomes, along with Fastway Car Wash, Deaton Funeral Home on our broadcast tonight, Wicked Marinero. Great food there in Red Bay by Predator Pest Control, by Red Bay Pharmacy, your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, by Swamp Johns. Also want to thank Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, Allen and Nash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling for over 45 years, your York dealer. Tiffin Supply, Timid Appliance Company, Dr. Rick Wooten by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Moore by Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Med Express of Red Bay, Tri-State Insurance, Kim Lindsay, who does all your screen printing and monogramming. We got a timeout. Red Bay leads 22-20. Sparks Contracting, Jamie Sparks. Also, Movie Mania, BJ's Hair Necessities, that's BJ L. Rod Walters, McKinney RV, The Banner Tire Store, Tiny Tigers Pre-K, Dr. Jim Neighbors, Nurse Practitioner Carolyn Wilson, Big Star, The City of Red Bay, and by Redmond Pharmacy. Last play of the game, third down and five. That doesn't matter. 
the quarterback, three receivers right, two left. He's got plenty of time. He throws it up down near the end zone. The Tigers bat it down. It's incomplete, and the Tigers win the ball game 22 to 20, and we had that one covered right. great, Keith. All right. We was in good position and, and, uh, and knocked it down, so got a victory. Way to go, Tigers. So the Tigers get out of here with a much-needed win tonight and win it by a score of 22 to 20. 22 to 20. Of course, uh, Keith's up here tonight. Uh, rain coming down. And I'm sure everybody's going to head to the locker room pretty quick. But congratulations to the Red Bay Tigers on a big hard-fought win tonight over the Phil Campbell Bobcats. We appreciate everybody joining us here on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Congratulations, Tish County. They win 7-6. to six. Their season coming to a close tonight. And we're hoping Belmont can hang on down in Belmont. Belmont leading 21-19, but Boonville's got the ball under two minutes to go. Had it about midfield after the onside kick. So that will wrap up our broadcast here tonight. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers, a big win, 22-20. Stay tuned on the Coaches Show Monday night with uh, Jack Ivey and Coach uh, Michael Jackson, and we'll find out what he has to say about this big win here tonight. And once again, your final score, Red Bay knocks off the ball club from Phil Campbell tonight, 22-20. Keith, you're going to be here next Friday night? Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday. You'll be here next Thursday night. Keith, great win tonight for the Tigers. Yeah, really good win, really good win. That is going to wrap up our broadcast for Byron Hellams, Keith Kennedy, Denise Abacca Control Center, and once again, the Red Bay Tigers winning it here tonight, 22-20 on a rainy night in Alabama. And that wraps up our broadcast. This is the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Tigers win tonight, 22-20, and good night from Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium.